going through the credit Please union. We're going to the credit union. We're making content today for Fatima's course. We're going to make content today for Fatima's course where she shows you how to make paychecks so big that the bank won't fucking cash them. All right? She's going to show you how to make paychecks so big that the bank's going to tell you to go home. We don't have all that money. Sorry. We, we don't have your money. Sorry. Go home. So first, we're going to go to the bank and we guys are going to show you guys. We're going to show you guys how to make paychecks so big that the bank sends you home and they, they're like, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. We don't got your money. We don't have your money, guys. This is a video advertisement for Fatima's course. All right. We got to fuck with them. We got to fuck with them. We got to fuck with them. Ask them where our money's at. Just be like, well, where's my money at? God damn it. Yeah. Where's my fucking money? How come you motherfuckers don't got my money? It's an important lesson, though. You can't, you can't trust banks with money, especially in times like these. Because we've already shut the banks down. Because they told me now already that I have to go do the drive through They don't have your money. You guys don't understand how fractional reserve banking even works. Yeah, I think it's important to tell them. That means if you make a lot of money, the banks, they don't actually have your money, man. So you guys think it's smart. You guys think it's smart. You save up all your money. You're like, I'll just put all my money in the bank. Well, they don't have your money. Good luck getting it out. That's why they need to get with like Grant Cardone. Oh. You know? Oh. Oh. You lost my lighter. Oh. Oh. All right. He teaches a little bit on it. I don't know. Grant Cardone, yeah. I've seen him. He puts it in. He puts all his in real estate. Yeah, he's like, get rid of that shit as you can but don't put it in the banks. It's the biggest scam. And he's so right. Look at the situation I'm in. The banks are scamming you. So you guys just wait. Hey, May. Hey, May. You can't even get enough money to get out of here. Apparently the banks don't have the virus and they don't have the money. <laughs> they don't have the virus. They don't have the money. What's up, on Keith and Nandi? See, see what my business wife gave me? <laughs> this is what my business wife gave me. Oops. My business wife gave me this right here. Tell her okay. I'm sending her some too. No, none for you, Nandi. Yeah. You got the virus, Nandi. <laughs> Nandi got the virus. She don't need it. She makes her own. She got the virus. Akita got the virus right now got the virus. <clears throat> so we're going to go to the bank. Baby. All right. Oh, we're going to go to the bank and we're going to prove to you, we're going to prove to you guys that there is a way, there is a way for you guys to make so much fucking money that the banks cannot pa cash your paychecks. All right. So we're going to go cash this paycheck right here. We're going to go cash this paycheck right here and you're going to see the bank will not cash it. The bank will say no. That's what the bank's gonna say. They're gonna say no, sorry, we don't have this money. They're gonna give us about this much money and they're gonna send us to another bank. They're gonna be like, well, you're gonna have to go to another bank. We don't have, we don't have your money, guys, sorry. Not sure if you guys want a problem like this, if you guys would like to have a problem like this, if you guys <laughs> wanna have a problem where you can't even go to the bank and get your fucking money because they don't have that much money. It's just 45,000 fucking dollars. It's not even a lot of fucking money. It's a small amount of money. It's from one fucking job. We done cash this paycheck three fucking times. And every time we every time we go cash this paycheck, here's what they do. They give us a fucking chunk of money like this. They're like, well, take this money. This is all the money that we have. And then they return us another paycheck like this. They just give us a come back later. Come back later, they say. What if they have it today, though. What if they're like, these guys are crazy? Fuck it. Let's see if they have it. It's about fucking time if they have it. I don't think you can cuss them out anymore. They know we're going to keep coming back. Uh,
It's okay, Nandi. It's okay. Post filter will get launched. These people will wait for it because it's amazing. They'll wait for it. Oh my God, Chuck. What's up, Chuck? <laughs> what's up, Chuck? Hey, Chuck. What's up? <coughs> We're making content for Fatima's course today. All right, she's going to teach you guys how to be fucking lead brokers and how to make money from your telephone like this. Buy some money. Buy some money like this. All right? Then you can buy all the Lamborghinis you want. Chuck is... The wire is coming Chuck. on Monday. We even got more money coming on Monday. We got more money coming. Can't cash it. Can't do nothing with it. We're fucking locked down. Can't even go to the store and buy clothes because they closed the fucking mall. Yeah. I can't even, I can't even get the money I got. What am I going to do with this money? Yeah. All this money keeps coming in. And we can't do nothing with it. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. We're on our way to the bank. We're on our way to the bank to prove to you fuckers about fractional reserve banking and how it works. Do you know how fractional reserve banking works? It works when you take when you take your money to the bank. They only keep a fraction of it, ten percent. That's all they keep. They only have ten percent of your fucking money. That's it. Fuck you, Jared. <laughs> Seriously. He asked why you need to play on your phone on the highway. She wasn't playing on her phone. She wasn't playing. She was just checking something. That's why he's broke. She was just checking something. Chris, you wanna you wanna take your course? Chris wants to take your course. He wants to learn. He wants to learn how you make stacks of money like this. Okay. These money stacks like this. This is real money. This is not fake money. It's all real money. It's real money. I'm excited to make a lot of money with a it's lot of people. 100. I think I just want to take like 10, to be honest. I was thinking about it last night. 10 people. We're only going to take 10 people. Well, I was thinking Hema. last night. I, I think I think at least for like 30 days. Where days. I just take 10 people, Only 10 people and just help them. Holy bang. fucking shit, it's fucking Bumblebee. It's fucking, look, it's Bumblebee. We're pulled up next to fucking Bumblebee. Woohoo! Pulled up next to Bumblebee. But I think I'll just do 10 people. Hey, Jared's freaking out. He said, Jared's freaking out. He doesn't want you to play on your phone on the highway. Oh, I'm he's, not on a phone. He's fucking freaking out. It's all right, Jared. I'm not, I'm not on a phone. Don't freak out, Jared. Post filter's coming. Don't worry, guys. Post filter is coming right after Right after we go to the bank. Post filter is going. What's up? What's up, Dom? What's up, Toby? Does it come in bigger stacks? We're gonna try to get a bigger stack. We're gonna try to catch this paycheck right here. How big does he want it? We're gonna try to catch this paycheck from the bank. This is this is the third time. This is the third time we try to cash this paycheck, and the bank keeps telling us that they don't have our money. How big of a stack does he want? Yeah, how big of a stack do you want? How big you want? I can go to three banks. Right? How big you want, Craig? We're gonna go try to get this money, but they ain't gonna give it to us. They're not gonna give it to us because they're fucking fractional reserve bankers. And they're like, what? You you want it all your money? You, want it, you mean? <laughs> don't shut the hotel down. You, you mean you wanted all the? You wanted all of it? You didn't want only ten percent because we only keep ten percent of your money. Um, the rest of it's fake. Wait, any, did, the rest of it's fake anyway. Did you tell them I have another bank account with another bank. And the one day they gave me, I had to do business transaction. This is messed up, right? Because this could have shut my business down. So they gave me all the cash that they could, and I needed to send a wire from the other account. So they gave me all the cash that they could. And then they turned around and they said, we're going to give you a, a check in the remaining. A stupid I, cashier's check. Yeah. And I'm like, but I need this wire to go out because my business can't, you know, function without it. And, uh... They're like, we're sorry. We'll call over there and tell them like that we don't have the money. We're gonna give you this I'm like, so to take exit four onto Indiana you're gonna you, I can't have my money to go make a business transaction at another bank, and you're giving me a check to take over there, and it's so big. You know they're gonna put a hold on it, right? Like I'm so I'm like people's businesses could shut down. Like I wasn't in the situation, but I was just thinking like, what if? So I told them like. 
you know, what if my business can't operate? What do you guys do? And they're just like this. So I take it over to, to, to Chase Bank, my regular bank as a credit union, and they put a hold on my check that was mine, like, like, like a hold on my money that I just went to get from another bank that they didn't have, and they had to put a check for. And, and it's like a, a 48 hour, or 72 hour, some kind of BS hold. And so I had to go to another bank to grab out money just so I could do this transaction and, and you know, get my leads and the money he needs to keep sending the leads for my client. It was a mess. So time, time is money. I cannot get that time back. Nobody's gonna pay me for that time. And, me. and then, uh, what else? Yeah, time is money, and then and then uh, my gas, right? I have to drive from. I mean, I live in a pretty big city, so it's like 30 miles. You should have told him you were broke and you didn't have gas. Yeah, money. yeah. What, what that, if I didn't have gas money? I cashing mean, that is, seventy thousand dollar check, just be like, there, what are you talking about? I don't have gas money, motherfuckers. Right. But there are people in that situation, and it's like they don't care. They do not care. So you gotta you gotta understand this stuff. And a lot of times you don't know until you're in the situation. I didn't know. No one taught me this. I grew up in a really poor family. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing, you know what I mean? But I know I get to run around every day and at least at least 50 to 100 bucks a day is just wasted. And oh. not including my time trying to do transactions because they can't, they don't have my money. What am I gonna do, sit with millions of dollars in your home? I guarantee you if we, I guarantee you if we deposit this paycheck right here, okay, you see that? It's $45,000, it's a small paycheck, it's not even that big. But I guarantee you guys, if we deposit this paycheck today and go back to the bank tomorrow and try to withdraw that money, they will not have it. They will not give it to us. Like literally, if we go put it in the bank today, 45K, we go put it in the bank today and we go back to the bank tomorrow and we're like, hey, I'd like to make a withdrawal of $45,000, they will not give us the money. They'll be like, well, we don't have that much money. You, got, you guys have to make an order to get your own damn money out. You know what I think is important that you never shared with one point there is uh, I actually started my business on a hundred dollar bill. And I'll show them. I started my business on a hundred dollar bill. She started her business on one hundred dollar bill. No on, bullshit. On one hundred dollar bill she started her business. Alright. And and like fifty of that was on business cards that are still in my drawer that I'll show them. Now she's home. making millions. I've never even used it. Now she's making millions. She started her business on one hundred dollar bill. True story. How long have you had the virus for, though? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the virus. Yeah, hey. I have a really big <clears throat> Hey, what's up, Luke? What's up? Hey, thanks for coming to the bank with us, guys, by the way, guys and girls, transgenders. Thanks a lot for, you know, coming to the bank with us. We just thought we'd make a little video. We're going to make some advertisements for Fatima's course where she teaches you guys how to be fucking millionaires, how to be rock stars. Take no but we thought we would uh, make a good ad for, for her course, a good intro ad where we're just going to the bank to cash these paychecks and the bank just... Watch, you'll see once we get to the bank. Once we get to the bank, you'll, you'll, you will see that they're going to be like, nah, 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 we, sorry, we just, we don't got that much money, can't have that much money, we don't have that much money. You guys may not believe, be believing me right now, but you're gonna see. We should have made this content for the last three days every time we, this is the third time. Third time we went to go cash this paycheck. Fucking just keep getting little baby stacks of cash like this. What are we gonna do with this? This is like lunch money. <laughs> this is like lunch money. They just keep giving us fucking enough money just to buy lunch That's for the Chris fucking money. day. That's it's Chris retarded. Money, That's what I told him. They, uh, we went to go cash yesterday. <laughs> I almost threw it back at him. We went yesterday to go fucking cash the paycheck. And then they send me this. They send us this. And I'm looking at this. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? I'm like, I mean, am I supposed to go get a steak? I mean, are you guys, what, what's this? I'm just allowed to have lunch money? Is like, can I get the rest of my paycheck, please? Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Drinks and a steak? They're crazy. You guys are going to see. It's crazy. But it's the best problem to have. This is a problem. These are the types of problems that Fatima wants to teach you guys how to have. I'm sure every one of you guys would be more than happy to have a, a problem where... Whenever you go to the bank to cash your paycheck, they just give you a stack of money like this, and then they return a paycheck like this, and they're like, well, you gotta come back another day to get the rest of your money. I'm sure you guys would all be happy to have that problem. So Fatima's gonna be teaching, what, 10 of them? Only 10 people, 
right? You're gonna teach well, 10 I, people. Well, I was thinking I'm only gonna let 10 people in. I don't. I think it should just be work. intimate for like the first 30 days. Because and and I really work with them, them and kind of perfect, yeah. perfect all your content. Yeah, and I don't and need the money. I don't perfected. really fucking need the money. It's like I just want people to have success because I have well, a, another real. agenda. You, yeah, you want people yeah. to be successful because you want. You, you want to start to outsource some of the work that you're That's doing, right. so you got more. And I want time them to, to be really good, and, and, yeah, and to teach them. So it's like I'm just saying, like it's not like I she need don't a need bunch your she don't need your fucking five hundred dollars. Trust me on that. She does not need your fucking five hundred dollars at all. All right. But what she is looking for, she is looking to to bring in other people and teach other people the secrets of her trade and what she does, so that she can leverage those people, that she can leverage a group of people and not have to be doing everything on her own, and she can start actually expanding out and having people that are actually helping her out. And the great thing about if you work with Fatima is if you do what she teaches you, she'll guarantee media buy. She will guarantee. She will guarantee that all your leads get bought up. She'll buy every fucking one of them if the bank will ever give her her money. <laughs> if she can ever get her I money from it. get it on credit for a <laughs> day or two, I mean, but I got she, you. If she can ever get her money from the bank, then she'll buy every fucking lead that you can generate. Every single one of them, 100%. If you can generate 1,000 leads a day, she'll fucking buy them all. That's the, that's the great thing if you guys take her course and you guys start working with her is once you actually start producing results you don't have to go try to find buyers you don't have to you don't have to build the relationships and shit that she's built because she's already has them and she will buy everything from you literally she'll fucking buy everything oh my god it's Lori Hyde hey Lori <laughs> what's up Lori we're going to the bank to get some money we're gonna see maybe we're yeah. gonna see if they got our fucking money today this is the third fucking day this is the third fucking day that we try to get our money from these jokers <laughs> they just keep giving us. They just keep giving us little, little we're, bits we're and there. little bits and pieces of our fucking paycheck. Maybe, um, we, maybe we should go to two banks today. Let's go to two of so them. We can have... Let's just fucking wig out on them. Fuck yeah. it. Because you never know, man. We need. We may even need more cash. Yeah. We don't know what the hell's going on. We're gonna yell at and, them. And you know, a lot. There's a lot of opportunity. So much opportunity. Like this. What's up, Munir? You can't get to your money. You can't get to your money, then it doesn't mean anything for you. That's right. You guys trust. You guys trust those banks with all your fucking money. And I'm telling you, they don't have your money. Even if I was to go right now and tell the bank, "Yo, give me all my fucking money," they wouldn't give it to me because they don't have it. They'd have to order it from somewhere. They'd be like, "Mr. Vaughn, uh, you got to place a 72." You gotta place a 72 hour order in advance to be able to check your money out of our fucking bank. Fucking cunts is what they are. You said that horrible word. Yeah, I, I said the banks are cunts. That's what I said. They're fucking oh cunts. They don't have my fucking money. They fractionally reserved my money. That's what they did. They fractionally reserved it. I gave them $100,000. They kept 10. And they who where they sent the other 90,000, I don't fucking know, but they don't have it and they won't give it to me. Donald Trump's got it. He's going to send Fucking Donald Trump. Send everybody a thousand of it. That's what that's where my money that's is where going. It's at. That's it's where not my the roads, That's where my other 90k that's where my other 90k is at. Blue or tire, hit a he's sending it out to fucking motherfuckers one thousand dollars at a time is what he's doing. Shut up, bitch, guys. I mean, I've ever see that money. If you guys no, are, it's not a joke. If you guys are Something sitting there waiting for that thousand dollar check, you're in the wrong business. All right. If you guys are sitting and waiting for the government to send you a thousand dollar check, a little stimulus check, you're in the wrong fucking business. You need to be the guy whose money they take. Right? That's right. Oh, you don't want to be that guy either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You We're, almost We're almost here to the bank. We're almost here to the bank. We're going to create some content here, guys. Okay. Then I'm going to come in and, and chop this up. I'm going to give the team a little interview. Oh, you won't believe this. What? You don't got your ID? You won't believe it. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like I swear. So you gotta give them your ID or something? We'll see. I think so. Okay. This is that's gonna be the reason that they don't give you your money. They're gonna be like, ah, you don't have your ID. Jeez. That's okay, we can ride back. What are the chances? We can ride back. I forget. I put it in my bag. We can we can ride back. She didn't bring her ID because she sucks. It's a green light on her. She didn't bring her ID. Why you gotta have your ID? 
Yeah, really, it's your my money. And everything. It's like, motherfucker, this is my money. Why the fuck we'll I gotta see, have we'll an see. ID and we'll shit? Tell it was true. We're gonna see anyways. And if it don't work, then we're gonna go back. We're gonna grab an ID. I don't have an ID. I have nothing. We're gonna grab an ID and then we'll go back to the bank and run on the bank again. We're gonna get this fucking content today. Don't you worry. We're gonna get this content. I cannot believe that. Look at me. I need to like wax my eyebrows. Don't I? Don't have Facebook. I need to wax my eyebrows. Look at that. Hey, what's up, See, Daniel? You gotta call your people. What's up, Chris? What's up, Gerald? What's up, John? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Should we just start sending money to people on Facebook? $100 bills at a time. Any of you guys want some money? You guys want some money? You Facebook people got some? want some money? You're kidding me. She's not going to answer. I forget this. She's not answering. She's like, nah. I don't want to talk to that girl today. You like my PJs? Look at my PJs. Are they good? You like them? It's good, right? Let's just go try it. Let's you go like try my it. PJs? Look at them. Look at them. Like my socks. Oh, what's up, Joe? We were supposed to meet Joe in Texas, but we didn't. I'm so yeah. sorry, Joe. We left Texas. We had to leave. We had to leave and come back to Indiana because it's fucking cold. Oh, no. Here comes the train. Here comes the train. Choo-choo! Nothing. Why didn't I think of Who's that? I don't know. Who is that? Some girl we met in New York. You don't know who it is? It's no one famous? Okay. Never no sleep. Never famous. It's no one famous. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> hey, Chris. What's up, Christopher Cameron? <clears throat> Let's see if we can get that halfway, just in case. We're going to the bank, all right? We're going to the bank. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Dylan. What's up, Dylan? We're on our way to the bank. All right. Oh, Lord, what's that? We done went to one bank. We done went to one bank. We took this paycheck to the bank right here. We took this to the bank. We were like, yo, can you cash our paycheck? They gave us this right here. They were like, well, this is all the money that we have, guys. Sorry, this is literally, we're a bank, and this is all the fucking money that we have. So they returned our paycheck. They gave us a stack of money. They returned our paycheck, and they were like, you got to go to another bank, guys. Maybe they got your money. We don't have it, because they're jokers. They're straight-up fucking jokers, man. I got any oh, hey. Hey, do you have any? Um, I got you wanna check my pocket, see if we got anything? Yeah. <laughs> wanna check my pocket, see if we got something in there? I don't even have a pocket. I have no pocket. You don't? No. Okay. I told your daughter my pockets were magical. <laughs> I got magical pockets. She believed you? No, she didn't believe me at all. She's smart. She's too smart for me. <laughs> your daughter too smart for me, but there's McDonald's. That's McDonald's right there. Okay, so... Uh, I, go? I don't know. 1.2 miles. We make a right. I, I, I think they may give it to me. We're going to see. If they give us all the money, that's going to be great. Look at him dancing. If they give us all the money, that will be great because we can stop wasting our time going from bank to bank to bank to bank. What's up, sweet cheeks? Hello. Hello. Hi, Danny. Nice to meet you. Fine, thank you. How are you?
I'm just kind of in a situation because uh, you called me yesterday and told me to get to the banks and grab some money out. And yeah, well, guess what? The banks are fucking jammed. It's taking Chris to Citibank. They couldn't do a wire for over three hours. My massage guy was there for almost two hours. The banks are just fucking jammed. Yeah, the banks are yeah. scammed. Uh, the banks are scammed. Yeah. Did, you get, did you get as much cash out as you, you could, Danny? I'm trying to. No, I didn't. You need, you need to go pull out a, you know, three, four, five grand at least to have in the house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Maybe the banks may be closed. My, my bank is closed inside. And guess I what, Godfather? I, I came all the way before. here and I, and I forgot my ID. See, I go too fast. 40 uh, minutes old. Okay, you jump. We'll talk to my friends, buddy. Okay. Hey, uh, Friday, but just, just so you know, that Sorry. guy there is one of the nicest guys in the world. We worked out a deal with him when he was giving me publishers. He took a dollar Leveraging relationships. On the guy alone, the one guy, that's the <clears> guy that has the son that I'm sending to you again. Okay. He's the guy that has the, uh, has the, the, the daily trivia of the day. He okay. actually has hitting that site every single day. Every single day, he has over 12 million double opted in people. Damn. And every day, every 12 million every day, leads. Not mm -hmm. him, not him. Mm -hmm. 12 He's million leads. The guy that he's referring to. You understand? Okay. 12 million plus people that he sends out newsletters to. He doesn't have, he doesn't do anything where he's making money other than whatever Google puts on his site for him to make. And let me tell you something, when he was sending my traffic out, okay, mm -hmm. that's the guy who told me that was the number one guy for Match.com for like three years in a row. Match.com? He would do 2000 machines every day. Yeah. $60,000 for one day. $60,000 for one day. $60,000 for one day. $60,000 for one day. Uh, because he has people signing up to his site, and then he bumps up 
uh, to, what do you call it, to uh, a, uh, a reply for it that will allow you to confirm it. So he okay. tried to get through, everything is fine. So tomorrow, I'll be back to my Okay. Okay. I'm I'm just trying to get this little bank thing taken care of real quick and then I'll I'll tie everything up. Yeah, I just pulled up here. Yeah, I just pulled up here. Okay. I didn't know if she tried Let's yesterday. Let's go to the bank. I, I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm just okay. what she, she told me. We're going to the bank. Yeah, no problem. No problem. All right. Okay. Love you too, bye. We're here at the bank. So? We're here at the bank. We're going to try to get our paycheck cashed, right? It's just $45,000. It's not even that much money. It's just forty-five k. <laughs> <coughs> now, let's see if they got our fucking money, guys. Man. Let's see if these fucking fraudsters got our fucking yeah. money or not. So I have a little bit of a problem. I just realized I drove all the way from West Indy and I forgot my ID. Is there a way I can still cash my money order without it? Okay, cool. They know who I am. They're like, that's that's the bitch that fucking always brings paychecks too big and we can never fucking cash them. That's the bitch that always bringing in those big fucking checks. And we can't never even fucking cash them, and she always yelling at us, asking us, "Where my fucking money at?" I'm gonna close this. Yeah, my bank. <laughs> Where's my fucking money, you fucking crooks, you fucking fraudsters? All right, let's see how much of our money they give us. How are you? Fine. Can I cash some? Okay, cool, cool. I was freaking out. I was like, "Oh no." <laughs> Hey. Guys, this virus is going on. You need to protect yourself. Protect yourself. Put a condom on your hand. Yeah, you need to, I don't have a condom, but I got some. Hey. Put a condom on your hand. All right, we're going to see. And then you got to use your own. This is all we're trying to cash, guys. This is a, it's just $45,000. That's it. That's all we're trying to cash. It's not like we're trying to pull out a million dollars or anything. It's just a little. We'll see what they It's say. a measly $45,000. It's one day's worth of work. This is what we're trying to get from the fucking bank. Well, let's see if I got our fucking money or not. <laughs> let us see. Do we got our money? I'm gonna have to ask them because if I sign this, they're just gonna take us through the. Nah, just sign it. Let's see what they do. Just sign it, put it in there. And let's see what they say. Let's see if they're like, hey. Guys, yeah, so I'm gonna be kind and I'm gonna ask them what they have available. Be kind. Because we're gonna waste time. Be kind. Rewind your videos before you take them back to Blockbuster. <laughs> be kind and rewind, guys. So let's just ask them, okay? No, don't ask. Them. Don't ask them. Just send it. I, send it. Just... I know you guys probably don't have. A... How much cash can I take? Well, I got 45k. Will I be able to cash? Yeah. You won't be able to do that, right? So, do you know how much I could get? 10? 20? 10 would probably be okay. 10's okay? Okay. We knew this. We knew it. They don't have... They don't have all our money. Hmm? They don't have all our money. They're just going to give you $10,000 and that's I didn't it. want to waste my time filling this out. Because we already know they're not going to give it to me. Yeah, She's but like, you 10 will be okay. You should have just wasted your time for the content, girl, is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. The next bank, you just got to waste your time to get the content. Okay. The people who are watching your ads, they don't know. They want to see that content of these motherfuckers talking about, we don't have your money. They, they heard him. She said, no, we can't do 45. We don't have your money. She said, we can't do 45,000. We don't got that much cash. Sorry, we don't I have I guess we'll get 10,000. And then... Should I 
Should I ask him? When can I come get the rest of my money? <coughs> okay, so so you can ask them this. Or be quick this. I'll ask you. They always do this. What? They always look at each other. What to do with all this? Forever. What to do with all this? Where does this girl get these big ass paychecks from? She come in here every day with the paycheck as big as my whole year salary. Mm -hmm. That's what they mad okay. about. Um. Yeah. I don't have a choice, right? Cause you can't cash it. Right. So I have to have the rest. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Um, do you know what I have to do to get all 30, the rest of the 35 out? 30. Next Wednesday? Okay. No, I think I'll just go to a couple more banks and see if I can. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Wednesday. I'd have to wait till Wednesday. Next Wednesday to get my money. Yeah. Did they, you, did they did you hear, hear what she said? Did they hear it? Did, did you hear what they said? They said, if you want your money, you got to place an order. It's fucking Friday. They said, if you want your money, you got to place an order. For 35K. You can give me 10 we can, now. We can deliver it to you on Wednesday. Can you imagine that? Your own fucking money? Your Sorry. own fucking money? You can't even get your so own fucking money, guys. So just have to keep guys. going from bank to bank to you bank. You just got to ride from bank to bank to bank. They can't give you your money because they don't have your fucking money. I'm glad they gave it to me. I didn't have to go back for my ID. See that? Let's see. I come in here all the time and they, they, they're like, I know you. Why? You know me because you can't give me my money. That's right. And every time you come, you make a big fuss. You make a big fuss and ask us where the fuck is my money at? If you what know you for fuck? sure want to get it. Well, who don't for sure want to get their money? What exactly. kind of question is that? Did you? If you know for sure you want to get it, you can come on Wednesday. Why am I going to fucking keep giving my money to you guys every time I give it to you guys? <laughs> Literally, I fucking, the next day I try to get it and you're like, no. You gotta order it. It's gonna take seven days to get your money. You have to fucking order it. Can you guys believe that shit? Yeah. It's fucking insane. But you know what? It's it's a it's a problem to be grateful to have. It so is that's a, why it is a problem. You, you know, I, I never had have. problems like this when I worked for other people. When I worked for other people, I was capped. I got how much money they decided my I was valued at. Trust me, if you're working Regardless a nine to, my value. if you're working a nine to five job. If you work on it, that's the thing. If you work a nine to five job, you take your fucking paycheck to the gas station and they'll cash that shit. Yeah, and I was the opposite. I was living paycheck to paycheck. So, you know, where today, um, I'm not living paycheck to paycheck. I got so many checks that I can't get them cashed. Yeah. And it's yeah. because I took yeah. control you, over my you own live in, life. You live in paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. Like, you live in paycheck to paycheck because that same paycheck you've been the living. the bank won't let me. You've you been know? living on that same paycheck for fucking... <laughs> <laughs> for a year now, I can't even get the whole shit cash. You've been cashing the same paycheck. I got wires coming days. in today. I'll show you guys too. I'll show you. I started just using invoicing you just to kind of show and invoice clients, just you know, to try to um, show people how to use it. Because in my course, I'm I, I really want to give you guys like a business in a box. Like you're not going to need anything to get going. But just in the last week, what I, I probably 40k. 35 40k that I've got in another bank that I haven't even collected. I mean, I've been in Texas I've been <coughs> driving making money. I don't even know what I got Because um, really I haven't checked. I just invoiced everybody on Friday last Friday and You know Some old you see you see I talk with some older people and they're still old school. They want to send everything checked They won't wire anything like, they want it to come in check form. And they so don't want to wire it because they don't want to fucking give... Yeah. They don't want the banks to put their well, hands on yeah, it because then it yeah. will magically disappear. Yeah, that's it the will other turn thing, into, too. To they don't want to pay 10%. the wire fees because they're all about making money and not giving banks money, and I respect that. But it turns into problems like this, which is good problems to have, is my point. When I worked for other people, when I, when I was an employee... You know, I, I worked in sales a lot, and I, I got commissions. So I, I made decent money because I got a little bit of control. They, they told me they gave me a, a blank check and an ink pen and go make as much as you want. But that's a lie, guys. As soon as you start to, you know, 
they'll tell you there's no ceiling, but as soon as you start to make about 100K, they start to cap you. What they'll do is they'll bring four or five low, low, you know, non-performers in to, to eat up the opportunity, right? So that you are capped. If you're smart, you'll notice that, but they're not going to tell you that. They just make it impossible for you to keep scaling and making money, right? Because there's only so many leads within a company, da, da, da. And so I was living paycheck to paycheck in a different way. And today I'm living paycheck to paycheck because the bank just can't fund me or give me my funds. And, and, all and that's she what does, I'm going to be grateful for. All she does is talk on the phone all day. That's it. Yeah, she that's just, what I do right there. You just saw. She just talks on the phone. That's it. She just talks. <laughs> she just talks on the phone. She just talks on the phone. And this ain't us, by the way. We don't, we're not money flashers, so we're not the type of people. We're not. We're not. Me yeah, and I don't Fatima. Even keep cash. Me like, and Fatima. We're not arbitrary people, so we don't just go around flashing money and stuff like that and pretending like. Pretending like success is a is a measure of how much money that you have because it's not. I mean, success is not measured by by do in dollar bills. Happiness is not measured in dollar bills. Mm -hmm. But we are right now on a race to flash a bunch of money around. And the reason the reason for that, you know, the the it's and it's totally outside of our character. And the only reason that we're doing it is because honestly, that's what it takes to get people's attention. You know, it's like. If we come here, nobody cares about us. If we come here and we're like, "Hey, look, guys, we can we can teach you, we can literally teach you guys how to make you know a uh, million dollars in ninety days. We can teach you those skill sets." Well, you guys aren't gonna believe it. You guys are just gonna be like, "Well, who the fuck are you guys? You guys don't even You're look." Tight I mean, pants. yeah, look, look at you. me. Do I look like a fucking millionaire? That's the thing, you know. <laughs> Unless we come and actually just start flashing cash around and we get, you know, we get our kid to fucking throw a bunch of money on the ground and start making snow angels and shit and the money. You guys aren't actually gonna believe it. I mean, look at me. Do I look like a fucking millionaire? I don't dress like a fucking millionaire. I don't. I don't drive a millionaire's car. You know. I don't fucking go around and have like things where the rest of the outside world can look at me and be like, "Oh, John Vaughn must be rich." You know. Neither is Fatima. Look at her. Does this girl look like she's a, a multimillionaire? Does she? Tell them I mean, about the event. What the guy said. Oh he, yeah. He thought he was. Tell him. Oh yeah. We just went to an event. We went to an event. And uh, we, you know, we went to this event, to this mastermind that I was speaking at, that I was speaking at, and it's, it's funny as fuck, because I, I brought my, no problem, thank you, because I brought my girl with me, um, I take Fatima whenever I come to the U.S., me and her just go travel around and shit and brainstorm, and I kind of, you know, help her out with her business and help her out with her social skills, and, and because she's really all about her, you know, all about making her own money, and she, she very rarely comes to social media, um, and we're trying to get her more exposed on social media so that she can actually start helping other people, uh, because that's one of the ways that she's going to help, help herself as well. Um, and the the thing is, you know, so we went to this mastermind, and we're hanging out at this mastermind, and, you know, I I introduced her. Ten more. We got one more bank to go to, guys. We got to go to this other bank, all right? Slowly by slowly. Slowly by slowly, we're going to get all our money. Slowly by slowly. we got to go to every fucking bank in the world to be able to get our I'm money. Gonna check. To be able to look. See what they did, guys? They gave us our check back. Thank you. They gave us our check back. So we brought them this check. They always look at me like I'm some drug dealer. We something. brought them this check to cash this check. Here's what they do. They give us just a little bit of money at a time. And then they send us, then they send us to another bank. Are you going to be able to go to the other bank? Or we got to get your ID first. This is what they keep yeah. doing to us. They keep nickeling and diming us. They don't understand that we don't have gas money. We don't we're, have gas money. I mean, we literally, we literally look. <laughs> we literally. We're on E. We're almost on E. We're almost on E. We don't have gas money, and these fucking whores keep fucking. <laughs> these whores. These whores keep God. sending us. Seriously, <laughs> these whores keep sending us from bank to bank to bank to bank to go try to get our fucking money. It's like we keep trying to cash our paycheck. Literally every time. We try to cash our paycheck, they hand us a chunk of money, and then they give us our goddamn paycheck back and tell us just we gotta go to another bank. It's insane. So we're sitting at this mastermind. We're hanging out with at this mastermind. I bring my girl with me because she's she's my business wife and I take her around with me whenever we go so that she can get exposed and she's not so social and shit. So trying to get her out into the into the social world where she's actually helping people um, and teaching people what she does and giving people an opportunity. So um a lot of people at the event just kind of ignored her and didn't pay a didn't pay a whole lot of attention to her. Which I'm right? fine with. I'm completely fine. She's totally her. fine because she's a little homebody, anyways. You know. I'm uh, sorry. But then, 
Then we leave the mastermind, then we get back to Indiana, and once we get back to Indiana, me and her start making content for the course that she's going to be launching, where she teaches you guys how to start just brokering leads. Literally, what do you fucking need? You need an internet connection, uh, a, a laptop or a computer helps, and a cell phone, that's it. Well, and you need, you, you, okay, you need a little bit more than that. You need the ability to communicate and build a relationship with somebody, and you need ambition. You need, you know, an eagerness to actually do something, meaning you can't be a lazy fuck. And we just gave right? you an example of what that looks like. You take phone calls, someone introduces you, you leverage that relationship, and, and you just Super you listen to what they have to say, and you tell them, the answer is always yes. Even if I can't fucking do it, I say yes, because then I'll figure out how to do it after I hang up. Hey, Fatma, can you do this? Da 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 da. This is Danny. Da 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 da. Say, so, okay, yeah, no problem. I'll take care of it. I don't know if I can get two thousand leads. I don't know. We can fucking try. I'll figure it out when I get we home. We'll fucking figure that shit out. I know. For I, sure. I know. I'm not coming with zero. I'll generate two thousand leads today. <laughs> I just log into Chirpy. I'll just log into. I'll just log into Chirpy and generate yeah. two thousand fucking leads today. So, anyways, we get back home. We start making content, and I, I tell her, like, look, here's some of the content that we want to do. And no offense to you people out there, but we know that a lot of you guys out there, the only thing that speaks to you is this. This is the only thing that actually speaks to you. This is the only thing that actually gets your attention, and you're like, well, let me shut the fuck up and let me pay attention because I see these guys have got a shit ton of money, and I want a shit ton of money, all right? We're not trying to flash it. So we start making content, start making snow angels and shit and just fucking big, <laughs> big piles of cash. We make it snow angels. And guess what happens? All of a sudden, now these people that were at the mastermind that wouldn't even talk to her, they start messaging her. And literally, these are her, their messages to her. Dream, baby. Oh. These are their messages to her. They're like, oh my God, we didn't know you were such a big deal or we would have spoke to you at the mastermind. We didn't think, literally motherfuckers are messaging like, her like, says that? like, oh, who I didn't, says that? we just thought you were nobody. We didn't realize that you were such a big deal or we would have actually, you know, spoke to you. It's like, how do you do that? You know like, what though? That's the money that they're giving, that, those are the people that they're giving their fucking money to. That they think that much of them, that, that they're not big deals. It's funny shit. Yeah. Do you know what? It's funny fucking shit. What if I was just a student, you know? And, and, and I was. I went there to learn or whatever. But I just, I, I was so shocked by that. You're not a big deal. I could not believe. It's why like would we? I knew you why would who, it, Yeah, why would I give you any time? Why would I even speak to you? You're not a big deal. Oh, wait. You got money? Oh, wait, motherfucker. You got money? Well, I should have spoke to you at the event. I should have spent some time with you. I didn't know you had so much fucking money. And, and that's why we, we have to use money for content because that's the thinking of that's the people exactly out why. There. Not because we care about it. And that broke my heart because I was thinking of all the people that were there that paid to see them, see him, yep. and who had faith in him. And then this is his thinking. Like, motherfucker, I paid $1,000 for yeah. a fucking ticket to sit in your fucking recliner. And you're going to tell me that. And you're. At the event, while I'm sitting in your VIP seat at the fucking event. You can't even get a VIP seat. It, exactly. You're going to sit and say, that one, I pay for your money. VIP seat, and you don't even let me sit in it. You let somebody else sit in my VIP seat that I paid $1,000 for, and then you don't even speak to me. You don't even acknowledge me at the event, even though I'm your fucking VIP. But then I, when I get back to my house and I start making content of all my fucking money, then you're going to message me, and you're going to be like, oh... I didn't know you were so important or I would have spent time with you. You know, it's not you, you paying me a thousand dollars for your VIP seat at my mastermind wasn't enough for me to give you attention. But yeah. now that I see you got all this fucking money, now now I, I realize I should have I should have spoke to you. My yeah. fucking marketers are jokers, aren't they? That's why I'm always fucking yelling at you marketers, because you guys are fucking straight up jokers, man. But that's fucking. why I want to teach them to make their own money and, and teach them really how to go get it so they don't have to stop keep wasting their money on people like that who think they're irrelevant unless they have money. Money ain't everything, guys. There's a lot more than life. There's a my lot more than life than money. The thing I'm most proud of, take all the fucking money away, excuse my language, but the thing I'm most proud of... No, is, there's no excuse for your language. ...is, is, is um, my baby, you know, my kids. You see them? Mm, like, they could so, take all that. Like, they're that so is, sweet. That is the thing, like, that... Because, you know, I was so crazy when I was young and I grew up, like, I didn't have parents. Just, a, just imagine, though, you're sitting there all day, every day at home with your kids working, making a shit ton of money. Now, just imagine these people, they're fucking going to work at a yeah. job that they can't stand. And I hated they're, that. They're away from their kids. They're away from their family. They're going to a, they're yeah. going to a job that they don't even fucking enjoy. Yeah. And you know the only benefit that they get? 
the only benefit that the, the only benefit that they get is they can take their paycheck to the bank and the bank actually has enough money to cash to their cash paycheck because it's so little that's that's literally the only fucking advantage that you yeah. guys have going to a job yeah. all day every day being away from your fucking family yeah. doing shit that you hate the only literal advantage that you have is you guys don't have to drive around for three hours like us just to cash one paycheck because yeah. your paycheck's so little that the bank has enough money to fucking cash it for you it's literally the only advantage that you have it's stupid it's bullshit and i know a lot of you guys feel like well i don't have any other choice i don't have any other option you know she didn't fucking go to college this bitch never fucking one day has stepped foot in a college ever yeah. and then that's the excuse people give is oh well i don't have a college education i don't have a fucking college education i didn't even know i didn't how to fucking turn a graduate from college on. I didn't even know how to turn a computer she on in 2010. still don't know how to turn a computer on, basically. She basically, but I can pay somebody to do it. She basically still doesn't know how to fucking turn a computer on. But I never got to see my daughter when I worked for someone else. You know what I mean? It was like I literally would wake up. She'd be gone on the bus, my first daughter. I'd come home, and then she's already, like, in the bath getting ready for bed. You know what I mean? We get to eat dinner, and that's it. It was like that was my life. And, like, so the thing Working that I'm pennies. most proud about, yeah. The thing that I, I value the most is that I get to watch my second baby just grow up. Everything she does. You know, I get to see everything. Because get I'm to see her make home. those snow angels and Yeah, body. yeah. And I get to, like, you know, really be involved in her life and stuff. And I'm just like, that's the thing. I don't care about the money. I care that the money gives me an opportunity to buy my time back so I can do that. And your whole job is just talking on the phone. It's awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. It's really awesome yeah. to see her work. All right, so she got a free training. We're still working on everything, getting the content. You know, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, Fatima made the same Fatima made the same mistake that so many people make, yeah. uh, which is trusting a marketer. All right, Fatima made the same mistake that so many people out there make, where they just want to trust a marketer and they want a marketer to come in and write their content. So or now coach I coach you or walk you through because they're the lead gen. They they know how to get exposure. They're the expert on this and that. And then it's like you know, they want to do business. You you talk them into doing business and you you know you trade valuable services or you even offer to pay whatever it is. But then it's like they can't execute. Mm. And I and I, some of them say they're the best. You get online, I can show you. They're on there. Oh, I'm an expert. No one can compete with me doing snapshots of their their uh, leads and shit. But it's like. Or their campaigns but then when i'm when, I, when you ask them and you really put them in the corner you really like when you come like this you're like man i got all this opportunity i got all these people wanting all these leads they go mia they go yeah. ghost you, you 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 i don't know if they get scared i don't know you know i don't know or they run bullshit campaigns and they know that you're serious the real deal like you don't get money like this when you run bullshit campaigns i mean you can if you're a fraud but eventually like people will will find out so For sure but I, I just did it over and over again. It's like, you know, I, I, I have money, you know, I'll pay, I, I, but, but they can't execute. Or I give them an opportunity to make this money with me. You know how many times I've tried to get partnerships where I'm just like, hey, let's partner. And I got all the buyers. I got all the people with big pockets, like Buy ready to spend money. Thing. Like the hardest part of business. 100000 200000 $300,000 a day. I can't, they can't even, I can't even take the checks that they're ready to cut and try to bring them on. And it's like. I'm at dinner, you know, at dinner with Sandy or, Sarah. you know, it's like, I haven't seen Samantha. my kid in five days because I've been hustling deals, you know, while I have, she's in my house, but it's like, I haven't got to spend time with her to eat dinner. And you want to tell me about Sarah, your girlfriend you just met last week and you don't have time to make this money, you know, just an hour of your focus to build a campaign. You guys say it doesn't take long to build a campaign, but no, no one can execute. We're gonna I'm start. kind of rambling, but I'm really resentful towards marketers and all the time that I've wasted because my time is valuable and it's just wasted time with these people and they can't execute. You know, they just talk a whole lot of shit and they can't execute. And that's the thing. You guys don't need these fucking marketers to come in and fucking write your content for you. You don't need these marketers to We're come to in you. and create some message that's a high converting message. You just need to use your own fucking voice and be real about the product or service that you have to offer. And that's it. You don't need to fucking try to use a bunch of fucking psycho psychological tactics to trick people into fucking buying your stuff. All right? Literally, you can use your own voice, your yeah. own message, and... Will you make maybe a little less money? Probably. probably. 
probably you might. I don't I don't really know. Honestly, myself personally, I make a lot more money writing my own content than letting some bullshit marketer try to go in and fucking write a bunch of nonsensical shit. That's not even your voice. It's not my voice. It's not my shit. But even running ads, you know, it's like everybody's a genius at ad running until you ask them, then then they give you all kinds of bullshit. Your CPA's literally your CPA is gonna be through the roof four or five hundred if you run launch this. Well, I thought you were the expert. How long is it gonna be four or five hundred? I expect that, but like, at what point are you gonna get it down to twenty five? I, I literally have made more money. I've literally made more money coming right here to Facebook <laughs> and just screaming, buy my shit, motherfuckers, than letting marketers go in and write fucking my messages for me. I've literally made more money just by coming and being myself and saying, hey, you cocksuckers, go buy my shit right now than letting marketers go in and try to fucking psychologically brain fuck people into buying shit that they don't need. I don't like people buying shit that they don't need. I don't like people having to to go on an emotional roller coaster or have a specific type of messaging to get them to actually pull the trigger. I don't want you to buy my shit unless you really feel convinced that it's good for you and it's going to work for you and it's something valuable for you. I think I'm going to do my free training live today. I think you should. You think you should? I think I told I you. I think you should come on and watch it. I think you should do that free training live several times. Yeah, I think what you are we going to do today? We just might practice well, we might it. as well help people. Yeah, you guys want us to help you? You guys want us to teach you some shit today or what? Oh my god, what's up, Mo? <laughs> what's up, Mo? You guys want to get taught some stuff today. Fatima's thinking about going in and shooting her training. Like I said, man, she got it all done and shit already, but it's just, it's been injected with marketing bullshit, so now we got to go. I was, I was not happy about that. I looked at it. I was like, do you write this? Are you sure you wrote this? And she's like, well, I got some help. I was like, from who? I'm not going to say who, but they were a marketer. And I was like, nah. <laughs> No, we got to pull this bullshit out of here. We got to pull this shit out of here. So she gonna, hey, there's the fucking pancake house. You want some that's pancakes? That's the most, say straight up marketed that shit. That's the most delicious pancake house. Do that's you, the name of the, do no, you, I don't want that shit. You know their pancakes are garbage. If you go to a restaurant called the most delicious they pancake tell you house, they're delicious. you know their fucking pancakes are garbage. So we got the money. We got just a little bit of that money. All right. We gotta go get the rest of it. Fatima's gonna make her training today. She's gonna do her live training today. All right. We'll come back to the bank tomorrow. Try to get the rest. I don't feel like driving around to every bank. Oh, you should. I though. just told them that. You wanna you, drive now? You should. And then I gotta get my ID. Yeah, get your ID. You should. We should just go ahead and let's make go this do content. it. Let's go do it. It's better to have it all in the same day. Okay, I let's think, do it. Let's do it. Where you're just, they can tell that hey, you're out there trying to get your. They're out there trying. That way they can tell, hey, it's all the it, it's all the same thing, right? Because if not, they'll be able to see, you know, this bitch doesn't change clothes. Okay, like, let's go get it. Was this a one year long endeavor for trying to get this shit? I think it's better you just do it all on the same day. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me get my ID, someone to bring me my ID. What do you guys think? Should should we go to another um, bank and try to get I the rest of our money? You guys think we should go to another I'm, bank okay. and get I, the rest I of our money? Get my ID. I think we're okay. gonna go okay. to every bank that exists. Upstairs on the, in Indiana, uh, somebody, you know, until they give us all our fucking money. Yeah, I gotta get my ID. I think I just missed my What's turn. What's up, too. Derek? What's up, Derek? What's up, Derek? We're, in Derek? We're in Indiana. We're in Indiana, not uh, Detroit. Okay. Uh, it's upstairs on my desk. Uh, your my computer desk, yeah. Just my little red wallet. My ID's in there. Uh, Okay. Well, if you understood what she yeah. does, all right, yeah. so basically what she does is she just brokers relationships. She brokers relationships, leverages relationships. So she just basically makes relationships with big media buyers who wants to buy a whole bunch of leads. And then she goes and she builds up relationships with lead generators that generate lots of leads. And then she just sits in the middle, all right? So she just sits inside the middle and she goes, finds all the people that will generate the leads and then she gobbles them up. And then she goes and she finds the people who want to buy like not little tiny baby buyers big buyers that will go in and they'll spend a hundred thousand dollars a day on buying leads and then she'll make a relationship with them and then she'll just she don't even connect each other she don't even connect them she basically she stays in the middle she encapsulates everything and stays in the middle and she makes arbitrage she makes an arbitrage off the transaction and although it's a nominal arbitrage whenever you're talking about volume like literally what if you guys can make just two dollars per call but you're getting 
but you're getting a thousand calls a day. That's two K. That's two K a day. I know people that I literally know people that they're lucky if they make two K a week. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not joking. I know motherfuckers are lucky if they make two K a week. Yeah. I used to not even make two K a week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. It seems like it's not even that long ago for me. Yeah, yeah. I was telling someone the other day about like, you know. I remember when I when I made uh, I was doing what I loved, right? When are we like, done? Here? Working uh, with people in addiction, but I made like fucking thirty k. Do I go right here? South, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, you go. You go here. Proceed south. to the route. Proceed. Just use the left lane to make a U-turn on State Road Thirty Seven. I'm so confused. You turn. Guys, I'm not from Indianapolis. You turn. I actually just moved here. Make a U-turn. Um, <laughs> to be close to the airport because I travel so much with my work. I live like 45 minutes from the city. I'm from Bloomington, Indiana. <clears throat> but I moved up here to this big <clears throat> city and I don't even know how to get around in it. I don't even know my way around. I think whenever you tell people stuff though, you need to get a little bit more in depth. Like whenever you say, hey, I, w I moved next to the airport because I, I moved next to the airport because I travel so much for my for my job. I think you need to make people understand that it's yeah. not a requirement, okay? Like, so you can take your training. Yeah. And if you guys think that, hey, you're gonna be you're gonna be working all day every day, you're gonna have to travel all over all over the place. That's not actually the case, okay? No, she I could, do it to meet people. Correct. She could not yeah. travel. She could not travel whatsoever and still make money. But she's smart, and what she does is instead of just say, okay, hey, I'll take your money and I'll make twenty thousand dollars today. Then what she's like, okay, I'll take your money. I'll make $18,000 today because I'm going to fly my ass to go meet you because once I go meet you, the relationship that I build will make me $100,000 tomorrow. So that's the way that Fatima looks at everything. She looks, okay, well, I can make 10 k today and 10 k tomorrow, or I can make 8 k today and I could go fly and meet this mother trucker and yeah. then... I'll be making 50k tomorrow because I built a relationship with this person. I built a personal relationship and people buy from people that they have relationships with, you know? Sometimes they'll even spend more money with you because they have a relationship with you than just go try to fucking work with some unknown. And Every in this business they have um, their own clients. So sometimes I build relationships with people and then they have like a book of clients and then they'll only work with me. So just taking care of that one relationship means I got 50 more clients, just because. Just because she traveled to go meet them. Took them to dinner, took them to lunch. Brum, 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 so you're right, you're right. That I, I chose to do that because I, I, under, I understood that it would be really good for the growth of my business. Like I want to scale my business and building relationships like that kind of create a security you know, and an opportunity to do that. See, and I know people are going to be like, well, if you guys make all this money and you guys are so rich, why would you even teach us anything? Why would you even train us anything? My market. And, huh? My market is untapped. There's so much potential there. Like, you, you, you can't fulfill. That's, That's the reason. Fulfillment issues is the reason, all right? So her biggest bottleneck, her biggest bottleneck <laughs> is she got, she got buyers that want to spend $100,000 a day, but she thousand dollars a day worth of leads because she's she's all by herself and she doesn't have a team and an army of people actually helping her so what she's doing all right so I'm just gonna be straight with you guys because I like to be honest and don't I don't like to bullshit people because it's a waste of time what she's doing is she is teaching you how to go find lead generators and how to go find buyers and basically sit in the middle as a broker and make money just by not even connecting each other, not even connecting them, because it's not like you're like, hey Sally, meet Tommy. You're just like, okay, hey Sally, I can get you the leads, just send me the money. And then you're like, oh, hey Tommy, I'll buy all the leads from you. Here's the money, just send me the leads. So you don't actually connect them together, okay? So she's teaching you everything. She's teaching you all the lingo, all the terminology, how to get started, what tools to use, how to go find lead generators, how to go find the the buyers that will buy the leads, how to pick your niche. She's teaching you all of this. But the key is, here's the, here's the key. And again, just to be honest and transparent, y'all are not gonna go out, y'all are not gonna go out and find a buyer 
that's going to spend $100,000 a day with you. You're not going to do that in, in your first week. It's going to take you, literally it may take you a year or two years to go out and work up a relationship and build enough trust where you can find a buyer that's going to be like, look, I'll spend $100,000 a day and buy every fucking lead that you can get up, all right? So one, you're not going to be able to find that buyer right off the bat. Even if you could magically find that buyer right off the bat, it's going to be hard for you to find all the lead generators that will produce $100,000 worth of leads every single day, okay? So how, why, why is she even doing this in the first place? Because, because her bottleneck is the lead generation, all right? So you guys go out and find the lead generators. Can you go out and find a buyer? Can you go out and find a buyer today that will buy 100 calls from you today? Yeah, sure. But why waste your time doing that? She'll guarantee all your buys. She'll buy everything from you. You only need one buyer. You guys don't even have to go find a buyer. You can if you want, and she'll teach you that. You can go find your own fucking buyers if you want to do that. You guys can go out. You can find your own clients that will buy all your leads up if you want to do that. But she'll buy everything, so you don't have to. She will buy every fucking lead that you generate. And that's her play. I can afford it. She can afford it. Unless the bank won't give her her fucking money. You may have to wait because sometimes days. sometimes it takes us, you know, three, four, five, six days. The same paycheck we've been cashing for fucking three days now. We've been cashing the same paycheck. We done went. This is the fourth bank that we went to to cash the same fucking paycheck. And they just keep sending us to more and more banks, giving us... Just giving us ten thousand dollars at a time, sending us to the next bank. Like, oh, we don't have any more money. Fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> Fucking jokers, man. This shit's insane. Well, we managed to get ourselves ten minutes. <laughs> we got ten minutes. Away from. We got ten minutes. What's up, Carlos? <laughs> What's up, Carlos? Ten minutes away. From See what we're doing, Carlos? We're cashing in this money today, Carlos. All right, today we're going. <laughs> We're cashing in the fucking money today. Uh, we're once we get all our once we get all our money cash. This is just one extra paycheck that we have. We got we got a whole we got a whole bunch more paychecks up here. And trust me, once we get a bank to cash all these, we are going to go fucking yeah, yeah. buy the cure for the coronavirus. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna go buy that shit up. Do, do, do. We're gonna go buy some lead gens. Oh yeah, we're gonna go buy some lead gens. We're gonna go buy some weed gens. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna go buy. I'm gonna go buy some weed generators. Oh shit, it's the state farm. Don't worry about that guy. He's yeah. not a he's not a police. That motherfucker ain't the police. Sonia says, what sucks about when I started my janitorial company, I couldn't scale and hire employees and even before with house cleaning because word of mouth got around. I was the best and only one in me as not employees. That's why yeah, I that's why I've been trying have to brokered that. Yeah, See, the, I wanna teach that stuff. She wants to teach that stuff. Are you gonna teach yeah. it naked? Yeah. You get more students if you teach naked. I obviously they teach can hundred dollar bills. That's, yeah. like, that's what we're that's doing. what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make you a fucking bikini out of fucking hundreds <laughs> and you just teach your you just teach your course in the bikini made out of hundreds. We're gonna bills. get rich or go broke. But get rich. <laughs> 50 /50 chance. We're either we're gonna we're either gonna teach yet. motherfuckers how to how to do this job, or yeah. we're gonna get an offer from Playboy. But tell Sonya the best thing she could have done was the get best a, thing you could have done was get contracts. Was get written, contracts written. Create a her. Create a her. And broker that. And broker that. And make that. a percentage off make of it. And do it over and over again. You want to just tell her? That would be. Yeah. You tell her. You, 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 heard, you, you tell her. You tell her. Sonya, so the best thing to do in that situation is to train people right but then let them let them be on their own and contract them do a non-circumvent non-compete meaning they can't go get your clients or whatever and they can't work within a hundred mile radius of like your territory like you can put stipulations in there which protect you but then but then when you get jobs you just you outsource that to them and you make a percentage and you do that 50 60 you times here, so this way you can work you can work your space, right? Work your clients, but then you're not losing money. Cause see, again, here we go. I'd rather make 15 of a million, a million times, than try to make the whole million by myself and lose it all. You wouldn't be able to make the money anyway. So you might as well just train people up, put you some contracts in place and get a percentage of that. But it's never scalable. I try to tell you guys that shit. Yeah, that yeah. shit's not scalable. Throughput activities are not scalable. If, That's a key. If, That's if, why it needs if what it is that you're selling and you're offering, if it requires human capital, all right, like if it requires human resources, 
you know, if you gotta, if you gotta go run ads for a motherfucker, if you gotta go manufacture sandwiches, if you gotta go make sandwiches and steaks, that shit's not scalable. It's never fucking scalable. You're never gonna be able to fucking have a, a scalable business model whenever, whenever your business model is very high in throughput activities, you can't fucking scale that shit. You can't because you're dependent on having to go hire fucking people like me. All right. For, for me, I have, I have a minimum of a 60 day lead time. My lead time is usually 90 to 180 days. And what that means is if I want a new engineer today, if I want to hire a new software engineer today, fuck, I've got, I've got 30, you know, I've got to go write a job description and figure out, okay, what's this guy going to do? What's his job description? What's going to be his role? Then I got to go give it to my HR department, have them go actually start sourcing candidates, bring candidates in for an interview. I'm going to be interviewing people for 30 days, 45 days, maybe 60 days. I mean, sometimes I've interviewed motherfuckers for 90 days before I found the right candidate. So, I mean, the best case scenario, I'm going to be interviewing people for 30 days. If I'm lucky, within 30 days, I'm going to find the right person to come. And then after I interview them and what's up, Suvo Deep? See, he's one of the guys that works for my company. And I don't know how long it took me in interviews to fucking find Suvo Deep. You know, I spent so much time interviewing and finally I found Sula Deep Delta and then I offered him a job. And then after offering him a job, I got another 30 or 60 days that I have to wait for him to put in his resignation at his current fucking company, get released from his current company, come work at my company. Then once he comes, let's say work, let's say best case scenario, I wait 30 days. Best case scenario, he got a 30 day notice period. He puts in his resignation as soon as I fucking offer him a job. 30 days later, he quits his company. He comes, works at my company. Now I'm 60 days in lead time. Once he comes to my company, he don't know what to fucking do. I got to train his fucking ass. Once he gets there, I have to train him to get him to, per, to be productive. That's another fucking 30 days. That's 90 days in lead time. Yeah. So if I pick up a new client today and he's like, yo, John, I got $10 million. Build me a software but I need three engineers. Look, I've got 90 fucking 180 days possibly before I can even take that job because it's a throughput job. It requires a human person to go in and do the servicing. Somebody got to go make his fucking hamburger, all right? It's not scalable, Sonia. That's just not scalable. My fuckers is always saying, hey, how do you scale this? How do you don't? You can't scale that shit. It's not actually scalable. Can you grow it? Yes, you can grow it, but can you scale it? No. You can't scale it because you lose that contract. You you lose that 70k contract on you. What do you got to do? You got to go fire your people. You got to lay off your people. And when you start laying off people, when you start firing people, it limits your ability to hire people in the future because people look at you and they're like, well, you're not secure. You're not a stable place for us to work. We're just gonna work here for three months and then you're gonna fucking fire us. You're gonna lay us off. Boop, boop, boop. Sweetie, I'm available now if you want to give me a call to answer any questions and get everything set up. I haven't had any weed today. I need to get some weed, but I haven't had any weed yet. Still haven't had any weed. Me and me and Fatima, we're gonna do her training today. She's gonna be doing it live on the profile. So make sure you follow this girl. Make sure you follow her. She's gonna be going. She's gonna start. How long I've been telling you you gotta go live, Tima? For a long time, but that's the thing. So and I'm she still has never went live. See, that's a problem with people with money too. Is like, you know, you tell yourself you don't need to do things, or because you don't need. But looking back with the throughput stuff, you know, like for example, like I understand, like this year I realized that I need to have assets, right? I wanna. I want to invest in things that give me reoccurring revenue because regardless of how much money I make consistently and how many times I go to banks, if I get in a car wreck That's right a, now... And you might because you don't know how to fucking drive. Yeah, yeah. You I'm might not a good driver. Up. But, you know, then that's all over. Like, I have nothing set up for my family and residual income. And so I'm looking for assets to invest in so that, you know, I can have that. But, See, and that's a, that's a big difference. That's a big part that you're missing. Yeah. See, but, but I don't have a, a, a platform, right? And so I keep telling myself, well, it costs me money to do this stuff, right? Plus, I'm uncomfortable with it. I don't enjoy sure. it. Right. I don't and, enjoy it neither. You think yeah. I like coming on Facebook and being on Facebook with you guys? I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. 
but I see the value and I understand how powerful it is. And so there, you know, I'm taking baby, I'm trying, like I'm willing, I'm willing to do the work. Why? Because I have an agenda, right? I, I want to build a platform. I want to be able to invest in opportunities, right? And you can't do that. You can't invest with opportunities. You can't build team where you get reoccurring revenue if nobody knows who the hell you are. And you know what? I've always, I always help other people build their brands, right? Behind the scenes. Like I, and you look like two years later, they're doing, they're hardly doing any work because they built their brand already. But, but I help build that, right? And I didn't do shit for myself. So that's another thing, but it's uncomfortable. That's my point. So it's you really did, uncomfortable. I don't enjoy that, doing but it. But I told you that's in your mind. That's yeah, all and in that your, voice can just give that's me a all million in your fucking reasons. Mind. Why not? Why, it's why? just in your mind. You don't need to. You got money. Do it tomorrow. And tomorrow never comes. And I know this, but still, I think we all struggle. No one's perfect. Even even when we're doing well at one thing, we still have, we still, even the best, the experts still struggle when new stuff, new opportunity comes up. We still go through that same process. So that never goes away. You just got to work through it. Now, I might not go live for two months. No, you, I might get you will fucking go live. <laughs> She's lying. I She's going to fucking excited. go live every fucking day. <laughs> She's going live, don't worry. But see, that's the big difference between us. Now, she makes a lot more money than I do. So she makes more money than I do, but she does a lot of throughput shit. You know, if she, yeah. and this is where we're trying to get her. Yeah. We're trying to get her to have a backup plan and have a, another stream of revenue. Because see, see, here's the big difference. If she stops working today, those relationships die. If she stops working, those relationships die. The income dies. Now, lucky for her, she got enough money in her bank account that it's not going to affect her for quite some some quite some years. But the thing is, if she stops working today, she stops making money because her job relies on throughput, which is why I'm here trying to help her. Now, me, on the other hand, my job, I literally just told my entire company not to come in next week. So I literally shut my entire company down because uh, they're babies and they're fucking freaking about a virus and shit. And I don't, instead of just having them worried and freaked out, it's like, just fuck it. Stay at home. Don't come into work next week. You want to know how much money I'm going to lose? Zero. I'll actually probably make extra money. All right. My entire company will be shut down. All right. I'll, my entire company will be shut down. It won't even be open. My entire company won't even be open, but I won't lose any money. I'll make just as much money as I would have made if my entire company was open. All right. I might even actually make more because why my guys are all at home, I've given them a list of pet projects that they can build on their own time while they're at home and I'll buy them up because I know I can come sell them to you. So I might actually even make more money while my company is shut down yeah. than I would with it being actual open. Yeah. All right? Mark her, on the other yeah. hand, she's not like that. If her company shuts thing, down, if she like, stops what? working, she <laughs> stops making money. Me, on the other hand, I'll yeah, shut my whole company know. down for a week. Just recently, you know, Everybody's at the beginning of the right year, here. at the beginning of the year, I took my entire company on an airplane to a vacation for a five-day vacation. <laughs> and we didn't work for five, we didn't work for literally like eight days. We were gone on vacation. Um, we had our whole company shut down. No one did anything. And... We didn't lose money. We made just as much money as we would yeah, have made absolutely. if we were there working because what we do you know, is, what we sell is throughput lists, all right? What that means is the, the work that my company does, it's all for future revenue. It's not required to sustain current revenue. A very small portion of it is maybe maybe 12% maximum of the output from our company is there to, to maintain current revenue streams the other fucking 78 percent or 88 percent the other 88 percent of our our resource power of the work that we do it is all for future revenue generation so it's not required i could shut that 88 percent down and what would happen my current revenue stream would just be fine i would just i would make just as much revenue i would still be able to continue to grow but i would lose my exponential curve factor all right so if you guys know how exponentials work they work like that that is the beauty of throughput all right of non-throughput whenever you do whenever you do throughput activities whenever you're selling marketing services or whenever you're selling hamburgers oh, yeah. or steaks or yeah. you know Especially baby cribs or whatever it is that takes throughput oh, like, this is a linear function it's a linear growth function like, boom, 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 boom. Boom. linear growth functions aren't great all right what i do since it's since it's very low throughput activities 
the things that we sell, these are exponential. We have yep. an exponential growth function, well, all right? Our really revenue function is like exponential, this, not, meaning that I can take 70% of my workforce natural. and I can have them start building stuff that has nothing to do with today's revenue generation. It has something to do with revenue generation right. from a year from now. And once, once that year lapses and I spend that time, then I can exponentially grow because yeah. I have new stuff to sell. And those new things, yeah. as I sell it, yeah. I don't have to do any work for that. I don't have to do any work to maintain it. That's what we're going to be teaching Fatima. That's one of the things I'm going to be helping her with. And honestly, that's one of the reasons that she's launching this course is so that she can have people who can go and do a lot of a yeah, lot of her absolutely. job. And she knows that even if she teaches you guys everything, she knows for a fact, even if she teaches you everything, if she teaches you every secret, it's just going to be easier for you to sell your leads to her because she can buy 100% of them because she's got buyers that will spend $200,000 a day if she can just find the leads. So she knows she can teach you everything. She can teach you everything. You can go try to find your buyers and you can find your buyers on your own. But it's just going to be always more convenient for for you to buy from her and for her or for you to sell to her and for her to buy up 100 percent of your leads because you're going to save time i mean now you don't even have to go find a buyer once you go find the leads you don't even have to go find a buyer to buy them although you can if you want to on your own you can totally do it but you don't have to because you can buy it you can sell everything to her she will she will buy 100 percent of your stuff um 100% yeah. of your stuff. So, do you want to maybe do a call and kind of just... Did I tell you not to watch a course? I don't think I told you to. Or do you want maybe me just I to did. do it and Hey, Dan, I, I what's up, Darren? <clears throat> She's my... Okay. This is my business I'll take wife. Care of it. So, this is my business wife, Fatima. Okay. She's not just one of my followers. She's not one of my followers. I don't have followers, I don't think. And if I do have followers, I love you guys, but you should... You should be following your own hearts and your own your own passions and your own ambitions. Okay. Okay. But yeah, she's my business wife. She makes lots of money, um, and she's 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 willing to actually help you guys as well make lots of money. Yeah. Okay. So she's willing to actually help you guys if you're willing yeah, to help get, yourself. Yeah. Let me get my team to help you. Let me get my team to help you, and you maybe just highlight some things that you think you want to like. You know, like you said, you got the new product and all that stuff. And then what I'll do is I'll just get my team to help you with all that so you can get your time back. Yeah, it, but, but give me a list of like most important and what you think and believe, you know, we should focus on. <clears throat> this is what she does. Literally, this is how she gets paid all day, every day. This is how she makes chunks of money just like this, all right? This actually gets paid all day, every yep. day, like this. Literally, this is what she does. Are you guys seeing how okay, hard this yeah. job is? Do you guys see how hard this job is? Yeah. Cool. As long as you're, as long as you're okay with that, um, I, I'm perfectly fine with it. Okay. Okay. Because usually, what we do is listen and then take the similarities of what we thought and pull those first. <laughs> but you always want to give, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's why you hire experts. Okay, sweetie. Okay. 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 Today's Friday? Okay. So I'm meeting with... Okay, I'm meeting Friday. with my team on this, actually. Yeah, We're together Friday. meeting at like 5 o'clock today. Because um, they're on a different time zone. Uh, so we'll get, I'll get started on it right away. I'll just tell them we're taking action. And uh, I'll let you know what, what we're doing. I'll just update you via email by Saturday. So you can just take a look in there. Like, I know you're off on Saturday and Sunday, but at least you can just look. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got your back. Uh, okay. Okay, I got your back. I'll take care of you.
Okay. Okay. just like fuel that right so wherever we're, it, we're, it's ranking I got you I'll, I'll take care of that yep okay cool so I'm heading no, uh, I'm heading home now I'll get you the banking information so you can send the funds the way you want to um, and that's not a problem. And then I'll talk with my team tonight at five and then I'll, I'll come back with a game plan for you. So you kind of have direction and then you know what we're doing. And then, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, too, you give us, if, if you want, when in your free time, if you just give us feedback or whatever, we can look at that. But if you don't, you don't have to. You're completely okay. I got your back. And I got two passionate people, so I'll just put them on that for Friday, for the rest of the day today and tomorrow, just research. So I'll give you, I'll get us so much research, I'll have a clear pathway. Cool. I will, sweetheart. I will, I will, I promise. Let me know. Okay, and if you need anything, just let me know. I'll have mine too. Nope, we sure will. I sure will. Will you send me your handles so I can follow? Okay, sweetie. Yeah. I'll give, I'll give you feedback. I'll help there too. Because I think that's important. If you, if you have a pathway, you know what I mean? Well, we might as well capitalize on that. So give me your personal one too, right? That's what you were talking about. And then the other, yeah. Yeah. Okay, give me your personal one too. Yep. That's the job, ladies and gentlemen. That's the job right there. Do you, does that look hard? Does this look hard to you guys? And girls and transgenders, does it look difficult? Because that is the job. That is the job that will give you paychecks like this that are so big that the bank can Love cash it. We done been to two banks today. We don't went to okay. two banks no today. No problem, sweetheart. Have a good day, okay? Call me if you need anything. I'll be, I'll and be we still got the paycheck because they keep giving it back to us because they can't cash like it because it's too fucking big and they don't have that Everything much you need cash. To know about setting up all right. I'll set this thing up and send it over to you. That's all you got to do. Okay, sweetie. Bye, bye. That's the entire job. You're welcome. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see the fucking job? She's doing it right in front of you. Do you see the job? It's talking on the motherfucking phone. That's the job. They, they they wanted to pay me. They wonder where's the link to pay. How do I pay? How do I pay? I forgot to and send it. We're telling them don't pay. We already can't get the. We already got money and we can't even get our money. We already have so much money we can't even pay. get it. Don't pay us anymore because the banks are just stealing it. That's the thing. The banks keep stealing our money. They won't even give us our money. These motherfuckers keep trying to pay us more money. And we can't even get the money that we got in the bank because the bank won't give it to us because they're fucking fractional reserve yeah, fucking communist motherfuckers. Wow. They're money stealers. Yeah, and that's a problem. Tell us we got to fucking place a five-day order. We got to fucking order our money five days in advance. Fucking deposit that shit yesterday. Try to go get it today. And they're like, no, you got to fucking place an order. You got to order. We got to order your money that you that you bought us because we don't have it. Yeah. Fucking twats. <laughs> you guys see the job? It's talking on the motherfucking phone. Yeah, Sonia, that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to every single bank to get money to try to cash one paycheck. And they just don't have enough money. So we're doing it on purpose to create content for Fatima's course. Who wants to take her course? How many of you guys want to get, go to her course? She got a free training, but her, her course is 500 bucks. It's $497. How many of you guys want to take her course and are willing to actually take her course where she's going to teach you how to make money like this? She's going to teach you how to make money like this. All right. Boom, boom, boom. She's going to teach you how to make money like this. 
Yeah. It's only going to cost you 500 bucks. But tell them there's, uh, there is some upsells. There are some upsells. There are some upsells. Let's be transparent. We don't mess around. There will be some upsells. All right. You will have the option to do a group coaching with her. You will also have the option to. So what are we doing? Are we going again or are uh, we done? Do you want to go again? I think it's good content for okay. you, yeah. Let's take the other car. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to take um, the SUV. Okay. This needs gas, and I don't want to stop. Why? You stop. I'll pump the gas, Mama. Okay. <laughs> I'll pump the gas. <coughs> I will pump the gas. Don't worry about that. I'm a nice guy. She going inside. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. I'm not sure if you guys understand. I'm never launching my own cryptocurrency. I have a plan. I got a plan for my own cryptocurrency. Um, I got a plan for my own cryptocurrency, but a lot of people won't like it because they don't they don't like the ideal. Um, but it's gonna happen anyways. I got a plan for my own cryptocurrency where we basically embed something similar to an RFID tag in you know all devices, and then uh, we have our miners, and our miners are just basically geolocators, so that we can literally watch the flow of of valuable goods so that we can watch assets just move around on a grid and you will you know no one will be able to steal your tv because if they steal your tv it's tagged with basically a rfid tag and anywhere they go on the grid all the miners on the grid they'll basically be you know authenticating and geolocating that device that was stolen i'm smoking a cigarette Smoking a cigarette right now, waiting for Fatima to come back out. So you guys, if you guys want to take her course, just let me know. Uh, we'll get you all set up. We're still working on building all the infrastructure and stuff, all right, on the ways to actually sell it. Like I said, she she relied on marketers, which is something that you should never do. You should never fucking rely. You guys should stop waiting on marketers to and just do your own shit, man. Just do your own shit. The world will appreciate it more. You will appreciate it more. You may You may not sell as much. But, you know, it's not all about money, guys. Everything isn't about money. I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people don't realize, especially when they don't have money, that that's not, that having chunks of money, like, trust me, if you guys think that this coming to your pocket, if you guys think that, you know, just having this in your pocket is going to make you, is going to make you happy, and all of a sudden you're going to have some happiness that you never had before because you got money, it's, it's actually a sad truth. It's not, it's not the case. And actually what's going to happen is if you can't find happiness without money, then once you get money, you're going to be even less happy with that money because you're going to realize, wow, I thought this was the key to my happiness. I thought having all this money was the key to my happiness. And whenever it doesn't buy your happiness, then it's yeah. going to make you so unhappy because you thought that was the fix to your problems. And it's not the fix to your problems. It's not the fix to your unhappiness. Happiness is internal. Happiness is internal and there's no external factor that will ever make you happy. All the happiness you need, it's already inside you. It's an internal thing. I think we, uh... Everyone wants to take your course, Fatima. Who wants to take Fatima's course? Let me know. Um, oh, just tell us Profit House because that's uh, that's her. The name of her course is Profit House, the Profit House. So just comment Profit House if you guys want to actually take her course and have. Like I said, it is five hundred bucks. It is going to be five hundred dollars. So if you guys don't want to spend five hundred dollars. Fuck off then. We don't care. She don't care. Do you care? Do you care? Are you going to be upset if they don't buy your course? Not at all. Is it going to affect your ability to make money? Not at all. Not a fucking all. It will. It will Not there, one bit. So, to me. Some of theirs. It could be life changing. For some Jason someone. said he's living in his car. Yeah. Jason said, hey, I'm living in my car. That sucks, Jason. Yeah. That, that sucks. You got internet connection? You got a phone? Maybe, maybe it will help a couple people. This way we can do a testimonial to see if like somebody invested does it better than somebody who's not. Because no, I've, I've only been told that. I've already done that. I've yeah. already done that before. It doesn't work? I've already done that. And whenever you try to help people and you, they don't have any skin in the game at all. They and just don't they, do anything. Okay. For sure. They don't. They don't have the fucking, they don't have the ambition. All my mentors and the, are telling me that. The, the, the thing is, even people that spend money, a lot of the motherfuckers that spend money, they still don't do anything. Yeah. You know, it's even the money, even spending the money is not a high enough motivator to get a lot of people to just fucking go do what needs to be done. And it's not that hard. Trust me. It is not that hard. Hey, what's up? What's up, Joey? What's up? What's up, Joey? Hey, mm -hmm. Joey. What's up? Yeah. So Fatima gonna teach you how how to do what she does. 
she's a broker she's a lead broker so basically what she does she finds people who want leads for their their business do you guys think that's a hard thing do you guys think it's a hard do you guys really do you guys think it would be hard to find a business who wants more leads what do you guys think about that do you think that's going to be hard do you think it's going to be hard for you to go find a business that's like yeah i i want more leads actually i mean leads typically there's a percentage of them that convert into sales so you're basically just asking a business hey do you guys want to make more money do yeah. you guys want to make more money every business is going to say yes you can walk into any business in the world and ask them yo hey would you guys like more leads and they're gonna say fuck yeah we want more leads hell yeah we want more leads bring us some more leads yeah what's up joey what's up joey hey joey how you doing joey Did having you, a great day you joey uh, I didn't tell them shit because oh. they didn't pay any money yet, so fuck them. I didn't tell them anything. No, what do you want to tell them? What do you want to tell them? Let's well, tell them. even on a local scale, so they don't have to learn national, you know, to do national buys like I do. I can teach them how to do this on a local scale and just really, you know, as a side hustle, make four or five k a month, just with little clients. You know, <clears throat> she's gonna teach you everything. If, she... they don't, if they're not ready to make this kind of money, then then I can teach them how to make this kind of money but they're not ready to make this kind of money let's go get the rest of our money you guys want to go get there you guys want to go try to get the rest of our fucking money from these jokers at the bank yeah let's do it that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go try to get the rest of our money from these fucking jokers at the bank that don't even have our fucking money we got look we got a check for thirty five thousand dollars we done went to two banks today to try to cash this check neither one of us had the money we got we got over half a million dollars sitting in the bank account. Like literally, there's over half a million dollars sitting in the bank account. We trying to cash a little measly fucking $35,000 check and these jokers at the fucking bank, they don't have our fucking money. It's a joke. <clears throat> Corey said, oh, Joey, you wanna know what Joey said? Mm -hmm. He said, what's up, John? Hey, Joe. Hey, Joey. You should say what's up to Fatima too, Joey. What's up, Fatima? Okay. What's up? Yeah, what's, up? Say what's up? What's up, Joey? Corey said, my brother owns a concrete and asphalt company in Michigan. Can she help him get leads? Perfect, perfect. Perfect avatar. example. Perfect example. His brother, he has a concrete and asphalt company in Michigan. Does he want more leads for his business, Corey? Do you think that your bro, do you think if I could tell your bro, hey, look, I can send you leads who want to get some concrete and asphalt? I mean, I'm not sure what they're gonna do yeah. with concrete. I'm assuming that they want a new driveway or some shit like that. I don't know if they're just buying concrete and then they like they got a hole and then they just like throw bodies in there and cover it up with concrete or something. Not sure what they do, but okay, guess what Joey said? Hmm. What's up Fatima? Hello. He said, what's up Fatima? <laughs> so do you think your bro would, uh, do, would you, you think your bro would want more leads if we were like, yo, what's up bro? We got some leads and they're interested in concrete and asphalt. Uh, do you want those leads? I guarantee you he'll be like, yeah, fuck yeah, I, I want those leads. Now, how much is he willing to pay for those leads? Well, that's a basic, uh, that's literally a basic mathematical function. Now, this is a next level where you guys can make even more money because what happens is a lot of businesses. That's what we talked about last night. What did we? What did we? What did we talk about? We did the math for leads. Well, see, but that's a whole different thing. The, yeah. the thing is, look, even Corey's bro, <clears throat> even Corey's bro may not even know how much money he can afford to spend per elite. Yeah. A lot of businesses are like that. A lot of businesses, they don't know their matrix. They don't know what their conversion ratio is. They don't know what their fucking profit margin is. They don't know, they don't know how much they can actually afford to spend on a lead. And that's where knowledge and information becomes power. And that's why she gets literally paid fucking 50K a month just to consult with people and help them with those matrixes because they don't fucking know, all right? So this is all a skill set, all right? Now these are the skill sets that you acquire over time by not being lazy fucking twats, okay? <laughs> now can you make money being a lazy Can You can make still money being a lazy twat, but you We're can make- one today. Right, today, Today we're in our millionaire, yeah. we're in our millionaire pajamas today. Clothes. Today we're wearing our, our millionaire's clothes, so everybody in the world, can, <laughs> everybody in the world can identify us when we go out, and they're like, "Look at those people! They're fucking multi-millionaires." <laughs> <laughs> in our in our fucking pajamas, we're in our fucking pajamas. So Corey's bro needs leads, all right. 
So, while Corey's bro needs leads, and he's out there, and he's like, yo, I need some leads for my asphalt, for my asphalt and concrete business, guess what? Right there, out there right now, is someone who has a lot of leads coming in for an asphalt and concrete business in, in Michigan, and guess what they're doing right now? They're out there trying to find someone to buy those leads. They got the leads coming in, they're like, wow, who can I sell these leads to? Who can I sell these leads to? That's what she does. She just goes out and she's like, oh, you got the leads? He wants, I, I got somebody that wants the leads. How much do you want for the leads? Oh, you want $35 per lead? All right. I'll get you all the leads that you want. It's $38 per lead. And the guy's like, all right, bet. And then she sits there and she makes $3 per lead. And what does she do? Nothing. She calls the guy up. She's like, all right, start delivering the leads. She calls the other guys up. She calls Corey's bro and she's like, hey, are you getting the leads? Are the leads working? Are they converting? And now where she makes her big money is now she works with them and she's like, all right. She goes in and she builds a relationship with them and she's like, all right, hey, I'm sending you the leads, but they're not converting. Let's check out your sales process. How are you communicating with them? How are you following up with them? Do you have systems in place? She helps them set up systems so that now they own the leads. Now they own the traffic. And that's why they're paying her fucking paychecks that are so big that the banks will not fucking cash them because of that invaluable skill set. Do you have to do all that? No. Literally, with her training program, her training program, she will guarantee you if you bring the leads, she will get a buyer and she will buy every single one of them. You don't even have to go spend time finding the buyers. All you got to do is find the people generating the leads and she's going to teach you how to do all of that for 500 fucking dollars. That's it. See, and this is what this is what we don't get about people. You guys hear the $500 cost and you're like that's too much. Is it too much? If she teaches you how to fucking get paychecks like this, is it too much to spend $500? If it is, then go fuck yourself. I mean, if it is too much, then don't spend the $500 fucking dollars. She don't care. Do you care? She doesn't care. I don't care if you spend the $500 or not. I don't even get anything out of the $500. Bucks. I get nothing. I get nothing. What's her end goal? I told you so many times what her end goal is. Trust well, me. Since I don't care about it, I'll give you half of it. Fuck that. I want yeah. 60%. You want 60? I'll give you 60%. I want 60%. You make sure, I gotta buy something. You make sure your people come in. I, I and, gotta buy something for your girls. And they bring some leads. <laughs> I'll give you 80%. Yeah. What niches will you take leads in? Uh, we go over that in the course. So she'll go over that all in the course. She'll and if you're a lead gen, too, um, you know, I, I'll make sure I can get you even like the right mentoring. Let's just say you haven't generated a specific niche. I'll bring you a, a, a expert <laughs> legion in that particular niche and coach you through. If I got to pay him out of my pocket to coach you, then I'll do that. You guys when want you, you guys want the number one secret to making a shit ton of money? Do you motherfuckers want the number one secret to making a whole bunch of money? You want me to tell you right now what the number one secret is to making a whole bunch of money? With people before profits. Want me to tell you? Do you want? Do you want me to tell you? Let's hear it. I'm gonna give somebody. What's that? <laughs> what's that called? Whenever they fucking start, when they start having a seizure and shit because yeah, the yeah, screen's yeah. too shaky. <laughs> ask him. Ask him. Do you want me to tell you? Do you guys want me to tell you what the what the biggest secret is on how to make a shit ton of money? You guys want to know that? They don't want to know. They don't want to know. Them. They don't want to know. Fuck them. Okay. Fuck them then if they don't want to know. Well, there is a secret to making this because I can tell you right now, I have a seventh grade education. I didn't even know how to turn on a computer a few years back. I come from a really poor family, which coming from a really poor family, that's a, that's a poor mindset, right? Like, even if I had an idea that I would get like really excited about that I just knew would make a lot of money, uh, I come from the kind of family that would their belief is you have to work hard, you have to be punching a time clock, and, and that's a stupid idea, right? It's like, a dumb that's idea. That's so dumb. It's a dumb idea. And it's not their fault, and I've never been resentful or angry at them. I just woke up one day and realized, oh my God, I have like abandoned all these opportunities and ideas and dreams that I've had. Because, Could you just imagine fucking getting up in the morning? Because I had faith in someone that just could not, you know, had limited beliefs. And then, and then it was like a light bulb went off that day. Could you just imagine, though, getting up in the morning, going outside in the fucking like, cold, turning your car on, yeah. waiting for your car to get warm, driving to a place that you don't really want to fucking go to just so they can tell you what time you're allowed to go fucking eat? 
an like, hour, hey, you're, getting, hey. you're getting ready an hour of your time just to get there, plus an hour, 35 minutes to get to there, right? So, I mean, same. and then you do that same thing back. That's three hours of your life a day times however many days a week you work that you can never, ever get back. And whatever your time is valued at, let's just say you make 20 bucks an hour at your job or whatever. And you, you times that by three hours a day and you multiply that by five days and then you multiply that by 24 or five days, however many days are in a month. That's a lot of money, if even, even valued at the lowest price possible. That's a lot of money and time that you can never, ever get back. Plus your gas money there. By the time you break down that $20 an hour straight up after they do tax, you're like working seven. for pennies. Yeah. You're working $2 an hour and you got to get up in the cold. You got to, I mean, employers just like own you. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Do what you're passionate about. Like I said, I, I made 30, close to 30K a year. Don't doing, tell them the secret yet. Doing God something damn. that I loved. Like I was so passionate about it. She's trying to tell you the secret right now. I'm trying to get more social. I'm trying to get more <laughs> engagement on my Facebook live video. Yeah. I'm just trying to yeah. get engagement from these motherfuckers <laughs> and you out telling all the secrets. <laughs> Wait for them to engage. You have to engage first to get the okay. secret. Okay. What's okay. wrong with you? See, she don't know how to do it okay. yet is the thing. She don't, okay. hey, what's up, Corey? She don't know how to do it yet. She has no idea how to do it. I got to teach her. Yeah. That's the trick, I don't though. Know See, I That's got the secret. The point. I don't know anything. Stop chasing fucking money and start chasing your passion. That's yeah. the secret. Don't chase money. Chase your fucking passion. Like, uh... Like Bruce is like, hey, what niches will she take leads from? Why do you want to know that information? You want to know that information because you want to find out what niches will she take leads in, and then you want to go after those niches and you want to start generating leads in those niches because you think that's where the most fucking money's at, and that's bullshit, yeah. and that's fucking wrong. Where is the most money at? You go follow your passion. That's where the most money's at. You find what you're passionate about, and if you're not passionate about anything, well, I want to say go kill yourself, but no. last time I said that, no. someone messaged me and was like, John, don't tell people to go kill themselves. If you're not passionate about anything, then you have a problem, we'll kill your okay? Dreams. If you're not passionate about anything, if your passion is to sit at home and fucking watch YouTube, then I, I, I can't help you, she can't help you, no one can help you, all right? But don't worry about what niches that she'll buy leads in. Worry about what are you passionate about and how can you use that passion to go find to go find people generating those leads, all right? Once you're actually following your passion, then here's the thing, guys, and this is what I realized a long time ago. If you're out chasing money, you're if you're out chasing money, the second that you don't get that money, you're gonna feel like giving up, man. The second yeah. that you don't get paid, the second that you're, you know, you're out there busting your balls and you're chasing money and you're not chasing your passion, when you don't get the monetary results, it's going to devastate you. When you don't get those monetary results, that's when you start getting depressed. That's whenever everything starts looking down for you and everything starts looking bad for you. But if you flip the script and you just start chasing your passion, well, if you don't make the money, if you if money doesn't come, you don't get depressed because you're still happy because you're following your passion. And whenever people see that, whenever people see how passionate you are and how happy you are and how eager you are to do the thing that you're doing, that's when they're going to pay you. That's when they're going to value you. And that's when the money comes in, as soon as you stop giving a fuck about it. All right. But when you're not following your passion, when you're not following your passion and when you're chasing chasing the money and that money doesn't come, trust me, everybody can see that in your demeanor. No one wants to buy from someone that's desperate, all right? People don't want to buy from desperate people and they're like, oh, well, they just want money. They just need money. They just have to buy it. They just have to have money. That's why they're doing it, all right? So the second that you switch that script and you stop fucking giving a fuck about money and you start just slowly, solely chasing your passion, that's whenever you're going to be the most profitable. And the reason I say that's when you're going to be the most profitable is not even, I don't even mean that that's whenever you're going to make physically the most money. All right. That's not what I mean. But here's what I mean. You guys, you guys work for money for what? What do you guys do with your money? I know what you guys do with your money. You go attempt to buy happiness. That's what you do with your money. You go out, make money, and then you attempt to to buy happiness because you're already unhappy so you attempt to use your money to buy happiness all right but here's the thing when you chase your passion when you're out chasing your passion and you're not chasing the dollar you're not chasing the money you're chasing your passion you already have happiness you don't have to go Whether buy you're it making money or not. exactly you already got the happiness you don't have to go purchase the happiness so now even if you make less money 
chasing your passion, it's actually more money because the the happiness that you were gonna go buy with that money, it already exists, so you get to keep your money because you don't have to go trade your money for happiness because you already have your happiness because you're chasing your passion. And that's why I'm telling you guys that the key to making real money and making lots of money is to just chase your passion. You just only do the shit that you're passionate about and you go chase your passion and that's where you're gonna get all the money. And if you don't get all the money that way, you're not going to care because all you was gonna do is trade that money to try to buy some happiness and you already got your fucking happiness. Yep. It's already there. Yeah. And some things never change, guys, no matter how much money you make. Just look over here. Some things never change. I, I, I will always be the person that has this much money in my pocket and will ride on Should an empty tank a, of gas. <laughs> got a fucking gas I'll ride tank. Ride my gas light. You know, we this, got no gas. There's just some things that just will never change, you know? I'm responsible in a lot of ways, but I'm also irresponsible. We got no gas. We got no gas. We will, we're we wearing our millionaire the bank, pajamas. The bank's wearing my gas out, and, and I just can't deal with this anymore. See, that's why, that's why I have a problem. That's why I get... That's why I laugh at people who go out and they buy Gucci shit and they buy Rolexes and they buy and, and they buy Lamborghinis and shit. It's because like it's for me anyways, at least my perception is it's like these people are trying to buy external validation. These people are trying to they're trying to buy happiness because they haven't found it on their uh, on the inside yet. They're searching for that happiness on the outside externally instead of looking internally, which is where the happiness exists anyways. It's the only place you're ever going to get happiness from is internally. So they go out and they buy these things. They spend their money on nice fancy things so that the rest of the world looks at them and they're like, oh, that must be someone right there. Mm -hmm. That person's got money. They must be somebody. Me? I don't give a fuck. Ain't trust me. Ain't nobody ever look at me. And, and I know the math. All right? I know the math. I got more money in my bank account than 90% of the fucking population of the fucking world. All right? I know the math. I've got more money in my bank than, than literally 90% of the population of the world. I've got more, and it's probably more like 96% of the fucking population. I got more money than 90, at least 90% of the population. I got more money than them. And no one ever thinks that when they look at me. You look at me. I mean, some of you guys came and saw me in, in Texas speak. And I, I guarantee you, whenever you guys came and saw me, and you watch me get on stage, not a single fucking person I bet when they watch me get on that on that stage thought this dude's a fucking multimillionaire. This guy's got money. I guarantee you, not till I started talking, because I don't care about the external validation of people and I don't care about people looking at me and just when they look at me think, Oh hey, this must this guy must be important. He's got a Rolex. This guy's got you know, he looks like he's got a lot of money. This guy must be rich. None of that shit means anything. Where's my happiness come from? It don't come from you guys. It doesn't come from your guys' thoughts thinking, oh, hey, you know, this guy's so special because he got such a nice car. My happiness comes from right here inside me, which is why my money is more valuable than other people's money because I don't have to go to the bank and pull out my money and try to go buy happiness with it. I've already got the happiness inside me. I'm a happy motherfucker. That's why I got these. That's why I got these on. These aren't even mine. These are Fatima's. These are They're girls. Pants. I mean, these are literally, I'm wearing girl sweatpants. Can you believe I'm just fucking out in the public? I'm wearing girl sweatpants <laughs> out in the public. Why? Because I don't give a fuck about external validation. I don't need people to look at me and just be like, oh, wow. John, I don't give a fuck. They can look at me and be like, who is this loser with, with <laughs> fucking girl sweatpants coming in our bank with a $100,000 check, trying to cash a $100,000 check wearing girl sweatpants? What's wrong with this guy? Fuck him. Yeah. Let him give us our money. We're almost there. We're almost We're there. miles away. So if you guys want to learn how to do all this shit, all right? Live online too. If when you, we go to the yeah, bank part. If, if you guys want to learn all this shit, then just let us know. Just you know, drop a comment. Profit House inside the, uh, in inside the comments. All right. Just drop yeah. a, just drop a comment. Profit House. If you want us to reach back out to you. And uh, get you in touch so you can so you can hop into Fatima's course. Like I, I said, them, I'm not good at tech, so if I take a minute to get there, I, I don't know how to work that shit. But, uh, like I said, she's gonna be there. There is a $500 cost, all right, to get inside the profit house. There is a $500 investment that you're gonna make. Um, you can take the free training and do just the free training, but for the profit house, for the full training, there is a $500 investment. I did show you guys. You know what's $500 compared to this? 
again, we're not money flashers. We are flashing a lot of money right now. We're going to flash even more money just so you guys can actually understand the potential. All right? Just so you guys can understand the potential. This, what, what is fucking stopping you from fucking being able to have chunks of money like this? The information inside your head. That's it. It's the information that's inside your head. It's IP, intellectual property. I'm going to, can I buy all, can I buy all your information? I give it to you. I'm going to fucking buy it. I'm going to buy it. So partnering. Just, that's what I'm bringing to our business, though. Mm-hmm. It's my property. Yeah, I'll we're partnering. It. We're partnered up. She's already my partner. We've been partnered up. How long have you been my partner for? How long have you been my partner for? we got a couple businesses. So, mm-hmm. a year? Yeah, like a year and, like, like a, like a, a, year year. and a half. A year and a half. A year. We done traveled all over the U.S. together. Where all we went to? Two different times. We went to. Everyone, everywhere. We went to fucking Atlanta. Atlanta. We went to fucking Atlanta. Uh, we went to Atlanta to see those joker ass marketers <laughs> and their and their agency model. Fucking clowns. You fucking clowns and your agency models. You fucking clowns. Fucking I'm jokers. So confused by the numbers there. So like, fucking confused. Like, you guys are working eighty hours a week to make fucking three thousand dollars a week. Yeah. Oh. But hey, you oh. know it's like there's different levels of like awakening, in my opinion. For sure. You know, you know what I mean. Like even if if you can get out from under a brick and mortar and get online, it, while while you're still an employee, you you worked yourself into a job. There is a sense of freedom if you can do that from home. Hey, guess people. what, John? He said, what's up, John? <laughs> he said, what's up, John? Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, look, what's my up? wife is live right now. Yeah, yeah. My wife's live. Can I want to go watch my... Lives? No, I want to live. It says, one of the best ways to utilize... Yo, I can't see the rest of it. Man, my wife, I'm missing my wife's live. I'm missing my wife. Aww. So if you guys want to yeah. learn... If you guys want to learn from Fatima, learn how to fucking just... Be a lead hustler and be a lead broker and make, like, you guys have been seeing what she's doing, like, the whole time we're driving around trying to go to these banks and shit and get our fucking money that they don't have. She's just talking on the phone, that's it. She's just talking on the phone, making money. She's just talking on the phone, making money. That last phone call was what? It was like 4K for that last phone call? Yeah, yeah, that's what they're wiring. Sending her 4K from a phone call. You guys watched it, it was like a seven minute phone call. Done. 4K, end of story. Yeah, it's a small little business. That's an example of a very small client. Um, you know, and that's more than what some people make in a month. You know, is, and I forget for that sure. sometimes. Yeah, I had to remind her. I had to yeah. remind her yesterday. Like, literally, I had to remind her yesterday that the same paycheck that we've been going around for three days trying to cash one single fucking paycheck from one single fucking client yeah. is more than literally the median average household income in the United States. That's two people working full time for an entire fucking year. It's two motherfuckers, you and your fucking wife working full time for an entire fucking year to get one fucking paycheck and you guys don't even get to see that money because it's all spent on your fucking expenses. It's just fucking one paycheck and literally she's gonna teach you how to do that. It's a $500 investment. If you don't wanna pay the $500, we're up front, we're not marketers. Look, we're not marketers, we're not gonna sell it to you. Look, and if they don't wanna broker leads, I can teach them, you know, business brokering like in general like i can i can teach them how to flip shit i show them how to flip is, shit all day long brokering is literally one of the most one of the most lucrative businesses that you can be in how did i start tier five like how did i grow a company to you know we got almost 70 employees now i just had two more that started this week i never even fucking met those guys before because i'm i never even met them before because i'm I'm here in the U.S., yeah. but how did I build my company? How did I fucking go from a, a single person, just me freelancing, you know, software engineering jobs to now fucking having a company with almost 70 full-time employees working for me? Literally, it was all brokering. It was literally all fucking brokering. They look like they're closed, mama. You think so? I Two, mean, three? I think we can do it. They, they look like they're closed. Mm-hmm. Their drive through I mean, we can see what their drive through look like. It was closed. Oh there ain't no car here. Wow. There ain't fucking, wow. there ain't no fucking car here. They got the whole fucking shit closed. See, they don't have that shit open. What's it say right there? Temporary closed until, until people start fu- stop freaking out about the coronavirus. They're fucking closed. Those fucking bastards. Let's see what else we got. Are you? We gotta Come find. On. We gotta find another bank for us to get this. Well, we could go to money. Chase, right? I have an account there. Are nope, they gonna they probably have the same problem? Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's Are see if Chase credit? let's see if Chase will cash the fucking check. But that's how I that's how I built my whole business. Was literally I built my whole business up 
for the first three years, I just brokered. Literally, I just brokered. I found Chase. people looking for a software engineer. I found a software engineer looking for somebody that was looking for a software engineer. Literally, I found people that were looking for software engineers to do work for them. And I found other people who were looking for jobs as software engineers. And I just sat in the middle and I arbitraged the shit out of it. I mean, literally, I arbitraged the shit out of it. I arbitraged the shit out of it. I would have people come and they would pay me $8,000 a month. They would pay pay me eight thousand dollars a month for one software engineer, and I find a software engineer that would work for one thousand dollars a month and make them happy, and I would make seven thousand dollars a month. And you know what I would do? Just like her, I would talk on the phone to him. I would be like, "Yes, sir. What else you want done? All right. Did you like that? Is everything working fine? All right. What else did you need done? All right. And I would do more than that. I would set up communication channels. I would set up processes, systems, communication channels to make it easy." where I'm not fucking going insane because I got 30 clients that all have an engineer housed with me and they're they're all doing different projects and I have to manage all these relationships so I would set up systems and processes to make my life easy where I've been working on a project for a dude for a year but I don't know anything about the project because I'm not doing the work someone else is doing the work and uh, yeah and I would just broker. Literally, I would just broker all those jobs. Well, this though. is what they, they don't understand is the, the biggest ad agencies do this. So it's like, why do all that work from the bottom to the top that's unnecessary to get to a place where this is ultimately where people, where the ad agencies end up anyway? The biggest ad agencies are doing they're, exactly they're, the same. Yeah. I mean, they, they can't scale otherwise. That's and what so white label I'm, agencies I'm are. I'm teaching you what the biggest ad agencies do that's top secret that they don't tell anyone about and, and saving you all the time and trouble with all the agency learning and all these steps and all this like at the end of the day you're going to get to a place where you have all these people working spending all this money and overhead you're doing all these things that you think you have to do to get to the top only to find out that those guys aren't even doing that shit guess who's watching right now though? Yeah. jesse wolf oh hi jesse jesse's watching right now <laughs> But yeah, to find out that they're not even doing that shit. You're, the stuff I'm gonna show you, you're gonna be so, if you've ever taken a course or you've been running an agency. So are we gonna that, give them, are we gonna give them a risk reversal? Are we gonna say, hey, it's it's 497 to take the course, you take the course, and if you don't think it was worth 497, we're gonna give you $1,000. Are we gonna do something like that? Sure, sure. I was thinking, I, 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 I was thinking this would be our, our money back guarantee. You know? Yeah, sure. Um, so it's 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 497 to join Profit House. Uh, she's gonna expose everything. She's gonna teach you everything. You go through the course. You take the course. At the end of the course, if you don't think it was worth 497, you just send us your address. I'll show up and I'll <laughs> I'll personally teach you. I'll teach it all to you first. <laughs> I'm so, gonna sh I'm gonna show them it works because I'm gonna literally start from scratch. So we should get one lucky and, person. Yeah. All right, look, and it's four ninety seven for the. And then I'm gonna get paid for what I'm showing them. I'm gonna show them the money coming in the bank. They're gonna sit there live with me while I talk to someone it, and say, "Send the fucking check." It's four ninety seven for the course. All right. So what what we're gonna do is the very first person, the very first person that contacts me <clears throat> and wants to get in the course, we're gonna work with you personally. Literally, we're gonna personally go over the course with you. And we're going to include you in the course as a case study, all right? We're just going to spend some personal time with you. We're going to teach you exactly what you would learn on your own. And we're going to use you as a case study to actually show that it's real information. You can really actually do this because we're going to be right there documenting your journey on you going through and actually taking this information and actually implementing. Are you cool with doing that? You would just take one person and instead of them just watching the course all on their own, you're yeah. going to work with them personally Absolutely. and just basically hold them accountable and make sure that they go implement the stuff so that you can get your content to show like, look, sure. here's Joe Snow. He actually signed up for the course. I, I worked with him personally just to make sure that, you know, he goes in and does everything instead of being a lazy twat. And here's his actual results. And we'll just include his results in the actual course. Yeah. Yeah. And we're charging 50000 for that in there to be honest to, to if, actually work if, with them directly like, if you want to be honest after you sign up for the course you will get hit with an upsell for 50k if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to so be whoever gets that in spot. a in a well you're not going to give them that for 497 all right so her one-on-one -on -one coaching program it's a 12-month program she's going to work with you for 12 months 
and she is guaranteeing all your media buy. That means whatever leads that you can generate and the verticals that she tells you, she will guarantee 100% media buy. She will buy every fucking one of them up from you, all right? That's guaranteed in her coaching program. That is 50K for the year. It's a, it's a um, you're gonna take payment plans on that? Or are you just gonna have them pay 50K up front? You mean like a monthly? So yeah, are you gonna, like in my oh, coaching fine. program, my, yeah, yeah. my coaching program is 60K for the, is 60K for the year and it's, uh, it's actually it's 50k for the year it's 5k up front and then 4k a month for all the other yeah months. i mean i don't care i just i just want to work with people that are gonna you know go out and do the shit and we can make money together so as long as they do what i'm saying i just you know i don't care how they pay so let us know just comment profit house if you're interested in getting in fatima's training course and learning how learning how she just makes wads of cash just like this by talking on the phone this is real money. You guys done seen us. We got this from the bank, all right? So we got it from the bank. The bank gave it to us. I don't know how much money is there. It's like 20K or some shit like that. Um, we got it from the actual bank. They don't have all our money because because they don't have as much. Apparently, the banks don't have as much money as we do. That's the thing. The banks don't have as much money as we do. That's why yeah. they can't. That's why they can't give us. Problem. That's why they can't give us all our money because they don't have that much money because we're richer than the fucking banks just by... Boom, talking on the phone. How much, so Bruce wants to know, how much do we need to invest in generating the leads? Zero, zero dollars. You don't have to invest. I now, started can my you, business on hundred dollars. Can you, she started her whole business on one hundred dollar bill. On one hundred dollar bill, she started her business, all right? Uh, can you spend money to go generate the leads on your own? Yes, you can, and if you do that, you'll learn inside the course. I don't want to give you guys all the secret information, because you haven't fucking paid yet, motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> But if you do that, will you make a, a higher profit margin? Sure. Oh, yeah. You'll make a higher profit margin if you spend your own upfront money and you go generate the leads yourself. So you will make a higher profit margin. So let's say, let's say you're out there and you're generating leads and uh, you can find a lead generator that's generating, let's say, solar leads. And they're generating those leads and they're going to sell them to you. Sorry. This is going to be crazy. Whee! Woohoo! That was awesome. That was awesome. So let's say you let's say you find a buyer, and they want to buy let's say twenty solar leads a day or some shit like that because they're not a big buyer like Fatima's buyers because her buyers will buy a thousand. She's got orders for five thousand calls a day that she can't fulfill. And again, this is to be transparent. This is one of the main reasons that she's starting her course to teach people is because that's her biggest bottleneck. And it's it's hard to make people understand that this is not going to be a problem for them all right are you guys going to have the same problems as fatima no her she's got a bottleneck finding leads why because she's dealing with clients that are so willing to spend half a million dollars a day buying fucking leads are the clients that she has all right so she's dealing with clients who want they want a thousand phone calls a day they want five thousand phone calls a day that's why she's having the problem the bottleneck actually fulfilling those orders because it's such, it's such a huge volume, all right? You guys aren't gonna have that problem. When you start out and you go find a buyer, you're gonna go find a buyer that wants, you know, 10 calls a day, 50 calls a day. You're gonna be able to actually fulfill those, no problem. So what she's trying to do, she's trying to solve her own bottlenecks because she's in a unique position where she has used used her brain and she's leveraged these relationships and now she's got clients who are willing to spend, like I said, her clients will spend 250,000 a day every single day to buy up a hundred thousand calls or buy up ten thousand or or to buy up a thousand or two thousand calls a day all right you guys aren't going to have that problem. To, just to be honest and transparent because you ain't going to go find a buyer like that you guys aren't going to go fucking find a buyer that's going to be like oh yeah i'll send you a hundred thousand dollars a day just send me the leads Except you're not right off the bat we got our first case study we made it. did you say the first person no i'm waiting oh, for oh, my oh, first okay. person somebody said um, I messaged John about the case study opportunity and have been talking about. So Evan, <laughs> Evan wants to sign up. So just ask him if he got, you got the 500, Evan. If you got the 500, you'll be in. You'll be our case study. All right. Um, I'm not going to charge you right now because we're in the car and shit. But if you, if you commit, if you make a verbal commitment that you'll be the first one. Like I said, I offered it to all y'all motherfuckers. Whoever is the first one to make that verbal commitment. Now, you do need to follow up with the, the verbal commitment and you will have to pay the 497. You don't have to pay it right now because I'm driving around and I'm not gonna invoice you while I'm driving around. <laughs> uh, 
but we're, I'm only going to do that for, for one person. I'm only literally going to do it for one person. Uh, whoever gets into the profit house, it's four ninety seven to get into the profit house. And we're going to work with you personally, like literally going to work with you personally. We're going to hold you accountable. We're going to make sure you go through everything. And we are going to use, just as a disclaimer, we are going to, we are going to use your content inside the course so we are going to use you as a case study inside the course so you have to agree to that you have to agree that we can use the content of us you have to agree that that we can use the content of us going through the course and working with you inside the inside the training module if you don't agree to that then then we're then you can still buy the course but we're not going to personally work with you uh one-on-one -on -one. so i think i got you one Corey said Corey said that to invoice invoice him now um, so Corey is making a verbal commitment right here on Facebook. Okay. Um, so okay. now if he doesn't, now if he doesn't pay, now if we, now if he doesn't pay, then, uh, then we're gonna tell everybody he's a lying, broke ass motherfucker. <laughs> ha ha ha! Just kidding, Corey. We'd never do that because uh, we don't care. We we would never do that. <clears throat> so here's the deal. Uh, so Evan also said he's perfectly okay with that. He's ready to rock and roll. All right. Will you take two? Because you got two, will you take two? Or is that too much? Do you just want to tell one of them to go fuck themselves? No, no, no. We'll take, we'll take two. We'll take two. All right. We're just taking two. So Corey and Corey and uh, and Evan will take both you guys, okay? But we're not going to take any, anybody else. We're just going to take you guys. That's it. So uh, so here's the deal. Bruce, you're asking, all right, how much do we need to invest in generating the leads? And I'm telling you. I'm telling you zero. You don't have to invest zero in generating the leads. A little bit of time, all right? Now, again, what you can do... You can learn the skill set of generating the leads on your own. All right. So here's the thing. Here's a here's an example. You got you got a buyer. He wants to buy he wants to buy solar leads. He wants to buy let's say 10, 10 solar leads a day. So you've got two options. All right. Uh, do you want to take three? John wants in two. Do you want to take three? Can you let's handle three? Let's take as many as that want to come in right now. Let's just go ahead and take them, right? I, I don't want to no? do that. I don't okay. want to take, because we got to work with all these fucking people personally. I haven't got to vet them. Some of them could be okay. fucking shit bags. Some of them could be okay, bastards. Okay. Well, and then once we start working with them, we're just going to be like, man, coach. That's why you it's, hire it's not fucking worth it for $500 to even fucking sit on a phone call with this fucking asshole because they're a lazy oh. twat. So hey, I like to vet. If I'm going to, if I'm going to work with people personally, I like to vet them, you know, because money ain't everything again i mean we don't need fucking 500 bucks what do i need your fucking 500 dollars for i don't need your 500 dollars no fuck it <laughs> so so here's the deal uh -huh. again i found another bank all right john we'll take you that's it we'll take you okay. three all right but you guys are committing verbally you guys all have to commit verbally that you're not fucking around and when i send you an invoice you're gonna pay and if you don't pay that's fine we're just we're not gonna work together and that's fine and i'm just gonna laugh at you uh -huh. Not publicly though. I won't publicly shame you. I won't publicly shame any of you people, man. That's not my. That's not my thing. So back to your thing, Bruce. All right. So you got. You got your guy. Um, you got your guy. He is. He is buying up solar leads, and he's like, "Hey, I'll buy ten solar leads a day, or twenty solar leads a day, or whatever. Hey, I'll buy these leads." Don't fucking honk at us. Yeah. See? You motherfuckers. Don't you we honk? can bond out of jail. That's right. We can bond ourselves We out. got our bond money right here. Don't honk at us. We'll fucking flip the script. <laughs> we got our fucking bond money and everything. Imagine <laughs> imagine they fucking take us to jail and we just as soon as we go to jail, we're like, no, we're bonding like, out. Please. We're bonding out. We're on a mission. <laughs> Fuck him. He should have never honked at us. You fucking that bastard. Was hilarious. I mean, we're turning. What did we do wrong? So we you got your something? buyer. All right. You got your buyer. Your buyer wants to buy... Uh, he, he wants to buy 10 leads a day or 20 leads a day or whatever. All right? All right, let's get this money first. Let me, I'll finish that in a second. First, let's get this money. All right, now Fatima going to try to get her money from the bank and let's see if they got her money. Let's just do it. Let's see if, right. let's see if let's they see got it. Fatima money. Why you, why do you roll oh, down my window? You're trying to, You're trying to freeze me. You're trying to freeze me out. You got it? Yeah, she's trying to freeze me out. Let's see if the bank's uh, got her money. Let's do this. We're gonna see. Do the banks have Let's our money? See if you'll go live on. All right. Make all right. a title. And go all right. Live. I'm gonna go live on Fatima's thing. Make sure you follow Fatima right there. All right. What do you want me to call it? Anything? Whatever you want. We're just creating content. When Show you people. make, oh fuck, this stupid fucking iPhone you got. Make. Oh, you so want to pin? Because I don't want to get this virus. Money. <laughs> the bank can't. Even cash your checks. Alright, there it is right there. 
when you make so much money, the bank can't even cash your checks. Should I start it? Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. So, now we're starting it. The team is live video. It just says, when you make so much money, the bank can't even cash your check. Let's see if the bank's going to cash our check this time. This is the second. Bring us some coffee? This is the third bank that we went to today to try to get our fucking money from our paycheck. I'm literally out of gas. I want you to show them this. I'm, really, got, I'm literally out of gas. Like, out of I'm gas. on E. Out of gas trying to get her fucking paycheck Here. cashed by these jokers at the that. fucking bank. I'm literally out of gas going She's around on the e. banks. She's on E. Out of gas going from bank to bank just trying to get her paycheck because it's too big. She any, make too much money. She money. makes too much money for the bank to even cash her fucking paycheck. I gotta hey. get my uh, virus protection here because I gotta okay. handle this thing right here, you know. Okay, you gotta you gotta handle it. So yeah, handle I don't it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I mean, it looks like somebody's. But... Let's put her check in there. Let's put her check in there and see if the bank will cash it. We're just gonna put it. We're not gonna say anything, right? Yeah. Let's see if the bank is gonna cash her paycheck. You we... wanna come over here and hear what they say? What do they say? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You got more people on your live than I do. I, I do? Yeah, you got okay. 16 people on your live. Okay, okay, okay. You're crazy. Hello, hello. You're crazy. Just having a problem here, trying to get money. And every bank we go to, they, they won't give me my money. They don't, they don't have enough money to cash my check. So let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. If they're going to give us this money. She said hello. I can't hear you. No, I'd like to cash it, please. Okay, one second. She in there. She's like, one second. This is too big. We don't have this much cash. What am I? What do I tell this person? She brought a paycheck. It's too big. We don't have this much cash in the bank. What? What do I do? What do I do? I never had this problem before. What am I supposed to do? Usually paychecks are usually paychecks are only six hundred dollars, and we can always cash them. This one's too big. She don't know what to do. We gotta leave some money for him. No, nah, he get no money. <laughs> Just tell him we taking all the money. You ain't getting no money. Hope you don't want to make a withdrawal, buddy. We're out of banks too. We, we have to go to another city. Yeah, we gotta go to a whole another city. Go, this is the second city we've been to. We gotta go to a whole another city to get. Look at this, Fatima. You got thirty-four people on your live video. That's yeah. how popular guys, you are. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. There's some girls, Tell maybe, maybe Hi, some girls. transgenders are there. You might have some transgenders, you know. Tell them, tell them what we're doing so they know that. We're, so we're trying to get our money, guys. But why? What are we, we doing, of course? We, I don't think they know. We're trying, to, we're trying to get our money, all right? What we're actually doing is we're making content um, for some ads for the course that Fatima is like, going to be releasing really soon called The Profit House. It's just $497 for the course, and we're literally just going in to show that, you know, how she makes so much money that the banks can't even cash here it they and come, they won't even they cash here it. They So let's see if we're gonna let's see if we're gonna get our money or not from these jokers. Saying hi, to her. she's talking to someone else. But you were telling them what? Tell them, tell them what what's going on. So we're gonna be now. You got fifty one viewers. Damn, really? Fatima, you're so well, popular. Your, your people, your you're people so, know. My people don't know what we're doing. You're so, so popular. So if you want, if you guys want to learn from Fatima, if you guys want information <laughs> on this course and how you can, how you yourself can literally just talk on the telephone and make paychecks so big that the bank won't even cash your paychecks because they don't have that much money in the in the bank to cash your paycheck, then all you have to do is just comment Profit House on this video. That's it. So just comment Profit House right now. Just drop a comment, Profit House, and we'll get you all set up and we'll get you right, more information. Get you more information on, on the course. We've all been, right. We've been to two different banks to get this because... They, they, they don't have enough to cash my check. So they don't. Two different banks to get this. So we're just, we're at our third bank now. And maybe we'll get our money. Maybe we'll finally get our money. We wanted to share. We wanted to. Okay, here she comes. See how popular you are, Fatima? Yeah. Hi, guys. You're so popular. Hi, guys. I just wanted to show you guys that this stuff works, right? Because you can't, you can't. It's real. That's the only reason we're doing it. Yeah, you can't. People, all these people talk about, you know, 
all the money they make, how they're successful, how they do it. And I want to show you guys step by step how I do this. And I know I've been telling a lot of you that I'll get this, this course done months ago. The problem I ran into is I kept, I'm not a, I'm not a marketer and I'm not. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> what are you well, doing? Well, I'm not. I okay, we're not marketers. Like, ads. I don't know how to build funnels. And so I kept trying to like partner with people and do things and like nobody could come through, right? Um, so it's just taken me a long time, not because I haven't wanted to do this sooner, but there's a process and a flow that you got to have in order to get this right so that people can understand it, right? So I, I was just like, F it. John was like, F it. Let's just do it. Let's just go live. Let's just create some content. Let's just show them step by step how to make money, how to make checks so fat that the banks can't even cash. Let's just show them that. And let's not BS, right? Let's go to the bank. No BS. To cash the check. Let's <laughs> like show this them. This is real money. Let's show guys. them that it's fucking it's real. real money. And this is our third bank in. If in we're my lucky, course, if we're I'm lucky, we'll get our you, money. Yeah, in my course, I'm going to show you exactly what I do to uh, work from home, be able to spend time with my kids, work from home, go on as many vacations as I want. What I do personally to be able to, um, you know, have the freedom, which is most important to me. I don't really care about money. I mean, I think if you, a lot of my people know me, so they know. Like, I give more away than I actually can keep for myself um and and i got street cred I, street cred I got, I got i got wall cred so people on here who really know me they'll tell you i give more than i actually spend for myself but i do it because it allows me to uh do more things with the people that i love have more freedom um anyway but people won't believe you when you're trying to help them do something they won't believe you unless you can show unless them. you show that fucking right. money no. Right, and then a lot you of ain't never that, seen You ain't never seen one of these gurus take yeah. a, a check so big to the bank that they can't cash it, you, never you, once. You see what I mean? And they'll show dashboards and, you know, all that stuff you can um, you can fake. You can fake all that stuff. I've showed my bank accounts and stuff. Let's see what they say. I think they're actually going to cash it, guys. That would be great. This would be the first, yeah. first so, time. But um, you can't fake this. So I just wanted to be real from the beginning. I want to show people it's possible because I'm not going to take responsibility for people's failures. If you, if I teach you this and you're not successful, it's, 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 it's your fault. You just didn't, it's because you're a lazy twat. That's word. why it's just call them, <laughs> just tell it like it word. is. It's because you're a lazy twat. That's why. So she don't talk like that. She ain't going to say yeah. that. I'll, <laughs> I'll say it. I'll say it. If you take the course and you don't actually make money, it's because you're a lazy fuck. That's why. It's not because it's bad information. It's because you're just fucking lazy and decided not to actually do anything. Because you got no hustle, no ambition. And that's just straight up facts. And if it hurts your feelings, well, then get better fucking feelings. See, this is why I didn't do content before. Because I just don't know how to say say it like that. Just but... You just say whatever you feel. <laughs> You just say whatever you feel, like whatever you feel like is the truth. Tell them what to do. If they want to learn more, what do they? What you do, just what do you comment. Do, just John? comment here, Profit House. That's it. All you got to do is make a comment, Profit House, and we'll get in touch with you. We'll get you guys in the actual course. <laughs> all right, um, and we'll start teaching you guys how to make big ass chunks of money like this. All right. Yeah. I can only give you the course. I just don't have enough. I get more money. I can't hear you. Can you please speak up? I can only give you twenty. Uh huh. I get more money on so you can only give me 20 yes. okay, Is that okay? yeah yeah I'll take 20 thank okay. you You're welcome. and then I gotta wait till Tuesday for the rest yes. thank you see you guys give me 20, see you guys they can't fucking cash your checks do you guys understand this shit do you, do you guys want this fucking problem? Do you guys want this problem? If you want this problem, literally, you guys are watching this shit live. You know, this ain't some fucking marketing bullshit. All right. This is not Fatima already told you she's not a marketer. If you don't know, if you don't know anything about me, well, just go check out my fucking profile. You can tell I'm not a fucking marketer because it says right there on my profile. <laughs> I'm not a fucking marketer and I'm not. I'm just a software engineer. All right. My business partner. I'm just a software fucking engineer and I do coach people and help them, you know, run business and, you know, build their business. Not very few, not very many people. I got two people in my coaching program uh, and it's because most people are kind of, <laughs> most, pe <laughs> most people I couldn't just personally work with because I would just straight up tell them, dude, you're a fucking idiot. 
Um, I don't want to work with you. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> so I do help don't people. Don't be offended, guys. If don't you, be offended. If you're smart, if you're smart, then you can actually see that this is disruptive marketing, right? How do how does someone get you to pay attention? They rock that, your world. And except for Jay, words. Jay doesn't like me. Yeah. Jay said I'm a I'm a hype guy in the in the background. Yeah. That's what Jay said. Actually, you're just on vacation. Yeah, out. I'm just we on. We just got bored uh, because I'm just we're on, on lockdown. Vacation. We can't even go anywhere. We had so many plans to travel. Why is here and we can't even go anywhere because we're on lockdown jay's I, just jay's just mad jay's just mad because when when he goes to the bank yeah his check's only 700 bucks and they just give it to him all in cash he can check it he can cash who's, his who's jay? Is jay it, your friend no he's your he's your, he's your friend he i'm just dogging him oh what did jay say i'm just dogging him because he said i'm a hype guy he said okay. who's the hype guy in the background <laughs> yod got more money than me <laughs> yod yada yah i don't know what that means but whatever no, we're just trying to look at, there's no hype. The, 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 the moral of the story is, is I don't want to sell myself, right? I don't, I'm not a marketer, like John said, and I'm not trying to sell you on an idea. Don't sell them. You shouldn't That's have to sell them. So I don't I sell my I would, shit. I would rather just show you. I'd rather just show you what I do, how this works, and then you can make an educated decision if you, if you want to join or not. John, can you tell them why, what the motive is? What the why? motive for you to my, actually my, teach my them? My people don't know why I'm even doing this. So, so the, I mean, so why don't you tell them instead of me telling them? Do you just uh, think I... I could, no, but I just think you're really articulate when you're explaining, like, the motive and... Well, you know what your motive yeah, is, so yeah. just tell them. I mean, you know so, exactly so, what your so, motive is. So, because I, I, I buy media and I have big clients, right? So I want to teach some people how to do what I do. Uh, so that I can scale my business, right? Because I'm only one person and I can't fulfill a lot of the orders right now. So that's my motive, right? My experts, my mentors, who I spend thousands and thousands of dollars with said, do not give this away for free. Fatima. No, if you don't. give this away for free, we're getting then, a divorce. Yeah. We're divorcing. So, see, so they, I, I thought I could just go train people. They will come in and then I could teach them this shit and we can make money together. Right. Because I need the help. I need the the legs, the arms, the, the heads to help me scale this. I'm turning money away right and left. And my, my people didn't. And, get, and get they the, don't understand when you're turning money yeah. away. You don't mean like $10, $20. Yeah, you mean like $5,000 a yes. day you're turning away because yeah. you can't get enough leads. Yeah. And that's your bottleneck. Your bottleneck yeah. is finding all the lead generators. So you're willing to, you're willing to turn people on. All right. So here's the deal. You're willing to turn them on and teach them everything. All they have to do is comment profit house on this video. So just do that right now. If you guys are interested in making money like this, you just comment profit house on this video right now. Oh shit. Here, your mentor's calling. You want to talk to your mentor? No, no, it's fine. Okay. I'm declining it. Or you it. can. You can take the call. Yeah. I, I'm declining it. Mentor. Okay, cool. cool mentors mentors calling so here's the deal you just comment profit house if you're interested and fatima is willing to teach you everything okay she is literally teach willing to teach you everything how to find the lead generator how to go find the buyer how to do everything on your own and actually make money but here's the catch why fatima is doing it because she knows that you'll never go find the buyer you can go find the buyer okay so we're not saying you can't find the buyer you can go find the buyer and she will teach you to go find the buyer but she knows that you'll never go find the buyer because she will guarantee that she buys everything from you she already is the buyer okay so you don't have to if you want to go find the buyers you can go find them but you don't have to that's the whole reason that she's doing this is because she has such a volume of clients that are wanting to buy so many leads she cannot fulfill them she's turning money down every day so she's going to teach you guys to do exactly what she does how to go find the lead gen how to go find the buyers and she's just going to make it easy for you instead of you guys going and trying to find a buyer and work a relationship with the buyer she's just going to offer to buy all your shit and if you don't want to sell all your leads to her you don't have to you can go out with what she teaches you and she you can do it on your own you can find your own buyers and you can sell to your own buyers but she already knows that you would be dumb to do that she already knows that it would be dumb for you to spend your time to go find people to buy the all these leads from you when she will buy everything and she will consistently buy them. And She's not just going to buy them today. She's going to buy them tomorrow, the next I day. I started my business, no crap, on a $100 bill. 
That's all it cost me. And 50 of it was buying business cards that are still in my drawer at home. Never even use those fucking business cards. I never even cards. use. And I'm going to show you guys when I go back home. I even designed them myself. Like, I never use them. Never I started my them. business on $100. I had to register with the state. And then I had to go open up a bank account so I could send and receive money. And um, I bought a logo for like 10 bucks on Fiverr or whatever. And then I built my website on Wix, which was like $14. So I can break it down. Uh, for you and show you. But see, I how long they take in, see how long they taken to see how long they taken to 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 count your guests. And so that's the other thing is, is what I'm going to teach you is that you don't you don't need money. You don't need money to buy the to get started. Space. You don't you need know? any money you to just generate need leads. Need ambition and good communications. Skills. Yeah, you need a phone, internet connection, and yeah, you can work from anywhere the ability too. to not be a lazy twat. And you you can work on your own time. I mean. Because we're dealing with real businesses from nine to five, generally, like you want to make sure that you're doing a lot of your, you know, your stuff during nine to five. That's just because most businesses are done after that. But you can still network and stuff and and build relationships after if you want. But if you want to work two hours a day, you want to work what I think. Well, how long was it that I worked about three hours right into getting this? Mm. You you witnessed that. Yeah. So it's about three hours. We spent order. like honestly. Honestly, we've spent more money trying to cash this we paycheck. We spent it, yeah. more time trying to fucking cash this check from yeah. the banks than it took you to actually fucking <laughs> to to make the fucking money. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's insane. Like literally, we have spent probably twice, three times as much time now yeah. driving around to try to get the money from the paycheck mm -hmm. that it took to actually make the fucking money. Well, it's you retarded. Share with my group they didn't know about the the mastermind that we went to and the message that we got yeah you shared it you yeah. share with them you share with them uh i forget what it's called we, we went to a mastermind yeah don't say names because yeah. we don't no, want to no, call no, people never, out on the I internet never do that, but i just want to share with them uh, so we you just comment that. profit house and we'll get you all taken care of so if you guys are interested just comment profit house on this video and we'll go back once we're once we get back to our house out of our fucking pajamas and shit we'll get you guys all taken care of all right i think they're coming with the this nigga, he can't oh, get, he's in. To get in. It's closed. They don't. We got all the money. You can't get any money. Look. Okay. Well, you're gonna send what? She said she's gonna, gonna just send, send two. two okay, it's two full. Okay, no problem. So it's two full. She uh, got to send I it twice. Two, two you didn't even get all your money. You got 50% of your money. Yep. They sent 50% of her money. And they said the tube's too full. They can't send it at once. They got to they gotta send it what? twice. Now, now, now we, we, didn't, we didn't plan that part in the content. No. We knew they were going to tell grab us. Grab it, grab it. Don't get the were, virus. Don't get the know. virus. They're going to tell me that. Uh, and please show them that them looking at us like we're drugged. Like... They make me feel so uncomfortable. Mm. Like, why they're laughing in there? What are you? What are you laughing at? Should I hit the button and ask them what they're yeah, laughing at? Yeah, just ask them. They're laughing at me. Yeah, tell I'm tell them if they don't stop laughing. So tell guys, them you want hundreds. They won't even give you hundreds. You literally took every fucking drop of money that they, they got in there. So guys, um, I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's only five thousand. Okay, he's got fifteen. So here's five thousand dollars, guys, and they're gonna um. She wants me to sign this. She wants me to sign this piece of paper. Which one? Mm. Uh, you gotta sign both of them. Okay, we'll just sign them both. We don't. We don't care. We'll sign them both. Just okay. So we got five thousand there. And guys, guess what? I got a money counter at home. Cause I don't We're gonna trust count me. all this. We're shit. gonna count all this bank, and it tells me if it's it. real too. So I need to make sure that they're not dodging me. Um, what do I need to send back? So you need to my send money back counter that. will tell me if this is real money. Dude, tell me if th th they had to give twenty dollar bills because they didn't have enough yeah. money. This is literally all the money that they got in the bank. Five thousand, but she it's, told me she's got fifteen thousand in one hundred dollar bills that she's gonna send me back. She just wanted me to sign um, some paper, which we'll sign. They just didn't have okay. the money, Shane. Is the thing they just didn't have the money. So if you guys want. More information about Fatima's course and how you can learn how to make money, how to make paychecks that are so big that the fucking bank will not cash them for you. Just comment Profit House on this video. That's it. Just comment Profit House. Profit House. Profit House. Do that. Why you got? I just want to know. Why are they looking at us? I just want to know why you got twice as many people watching your live video as me.
You're doing great. You're on fire. That's am, why. Wipe your hands, please. <laughs> Wipe your hands. So apparently, guys, this is 15,001. Two. Oh, that has to be two. I mean. And 15, you cleaned them out. 15, totally. 000. Do you think this is 15,000? Totally cleaned them out. Yeah. Do you think it is? Yeah. Huh? One. I don't know. Two, One. four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, there's two K in each 14. of these, probably. These are each two K. Two K? One. Mm -hmm. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. And then two, four, six, eight, ten, fifteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't even got enough. Um, we don't even got enough space got, to put. I still put, got a few thousand dollars here. Still, um, still didn't yeah, even cash our whole fucking paycheck. They yeah. still gave us our paycheck back. So we got all this cash if you just want to show them. And... And that's it, guys. I don't even have enough gas. I'm going to show you right here. I'm scared. That We're I'm out, of out of gas. gas they We're out of, out of gas. We got they no gas. They haven't offered to give me gas money. I'm a hard worker. Exactly. I work hard. We spent and we spent like fifty dollars just in gas, trying to fucking go to bank, to bank, to bank, to bank, to bank, just so to cash one fucking they paycheck. Even, they don't even um, give me offer me uh, money for my time that I spent today. So my time, I made thirty. Wait, I made like four thousand dollars in fifteen minutes. So mm -hmm. if my time is valued. Four thousand dollars at fifteen minutes. Let's and we done spent three hour. hours. We done spent so three I, hours. I've lost, like, so much money we lost just driving around trying to get our fucking money that I can never get back. And and not only did I lose twelve k in time that I can never get back, but guys, look at this. And they can't even look pay you this. any money because they don't I, have any I, like money left TV, over. My gas tank, my gas tank, because and, and I was on a half a tank when we started this morning, guys. We've been doing this. I know my on? my people don't. They don't know. But we've been doing this for all day, all day, you know, it's like, you know, I have to go to three different banks. This is the third bank to get this. And I'm stressed out now. Now I'm stressed out because I'm, I, I got an empty tank of gas. Please show them my gas. Empty gas tank. Yeah. But you know what, guys? I'm grateful. This is, I would rather have this problem than to be living paycheck to paycheck. Sure. That's why I took control back over my life. That's why I, um. You know, I was done. I, I was done of people capping my potential and capping me and telling me how much I could make. And But like John said earlier, the good thing about being an employee is at least you get checks small enough to cash. You never have to do this right here. <laughs> That's, the That's the best. That's the best the thing. one benefit that you guys have at your 9 to 5 is they give you a paycheck so small that the bank actually has cash for it. And you can just go to one bank and, and get guys, your fucking money. How funny would it be if we literally ran out of gas? Because I'm not joking. I'm on my last fume. If we ran out of gas with all this this money. If we ran out of gas with all this money. And we had to be like, um, guys, <laughs> can somebody give us a ride to get gas? You know? What if what if we ran out of gas? That would be, that would be some a good ad. That right? would be. This is gonna make it. Yeah, this is gonna make a good ad. We just, I just have to get it all chopped up. Because I'm gonna try to help as many people as I can, change their lives, but also I'm helping myself in the meanwhile. I'm gonna be completely transparent. I'm helping myself in the meantime because I want to build an army so that I can fulfill and make my clients that are huge happy. You know, I'm. I have to be able to either deliver or, if not over deliver, then I like to be able to at least deliver. I can't do a thousand calls a day by myself. I can't do 5,000 leads a day for my businesses by themselves. But if I have 10, 20 of you and we, we build a tribe together and I show you everything. And you're going to help know. them make money, right? Yeah, of course. That's your I'm gonna whole be your goal. Buyer. I'm going to be your buyer. I'm going to show you everything. Buy everything and from you. And if you're like, hey, you know, I have, you know, a 500 leads for Tima, then I'm going to say, great, I'll buy those from you. I'll buy those from you. And so you don't, you know, it's just one extra step that you don't have to go do on your own. But can you? Absolutely. You're not like, you know, I'm not telling you that you have to sign your life to me. You're free to do whatever. I want to teach you. You be free. You can go out and make your money on your own. I'm just saying, like, that's my motive. That's my agenda. Um, because as you can see, I don't really give a shit about $500. Don't give a fuck about five. But the only thing that would be good about 500 told bucks. Me that I'm so stupid. Don't my give it for free. You I'm can't give it for free. I give it for free. I won't let you give it for free. And, you know, some told me to sell it for $1,000. they are like, you're crazy. Look what you made in one you, day. You need to make this $50,000, which I'm telling you. It's my worth it. My one-on-one course is, is it, my coaching. It is. There's an upsell in there. So when you see the 400 I'm going to teach you all this stuff. And you can you go into the group, you know, have support. But but the one-on-one, -on -one, I will charge $50,000 for. And it's because my time's valuable. And I'm not going to be spending time with people like, 
literally in that course you will ba I will babysit circle my my buyers personally so that they know them I'll introduce them um, and and I'm not gonna do that for less than fifty thousand I'm just not gonna do it um, but the the 500 I don't really need it but I do need help I if I can show you the skill set and you make an investment because my mentor said that people that don't make investments they're not gonna do shit you know they're, they're it's not. a psychological thing so that's the only reason why I'm charging because they said if they think it's free they're not gonna value it Fatima and I'm like, but what if I make what if I make a video and I show them that there's value in it? And stuff? They're like, still don't give this shit away for free. So I'm like, okay. So um, this is it's gonna be so easy. Our content just, will be like, imagine now when we do the comparison of potential know, versus entry ticket. Yeah, like I don't I don't I don't know how to write ads. I don't know how to do any of that. All I know how to do, guys, is make money and build relationships and help people find success. You don't you don't make this kind of money if you don't know how to help people get results right so that's why people keep paying me this kind of money because i get them results and that's all i know how to do but the um the content that we need and, and you know the things that motivate you guys like you guys don't care i could tell you all of this and never show you this nobody's gonna listen to me i know that but the moment i pull this out people fucking pay attention right? that's right now you know i'm not i'm not one of these and now you got full of bullshit <laughs> who invites you to a mastermind and ignores you and then suddenly when they realize who you are they're like oh my god i didn't know who you were i, I would have acted differently like i'm not one of those people i don't care if you spend five dollars a thousand dollars or zero dollars if 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 you're investing in my intellectual property so that you can better your life then i don't care I, I'm going to treat you the same. I have value for you. I have respect for you that you're willing to change your life or that you're willing, you know, to take time out to make it. The greatest investment you'll ever make is the one you make in yourself. And that's hard for a lot of people to like believe and understand, especially. If that's because so many. Esteem. And it's also because so many people but, sound them bullshit. So many yeah, people sound them pipe but, dreams and bullshit. Listen, and the only difference between you and me, you and me, right? And I'm going to tell you this because, again, I have a seventh grade education and I, and I got street cred. I got a Facebook wall cred. You can my friends are on there. So like anybody that knows me, I don't really have fake people on my thing. Like I grew up with all my people or they know me. I have a personal relationship on my page, but I got street cred. I have a seventh grade education. I've been through hell like I wasn't always good. I partied a lot when I was young. I was so irresponsible. Uh, my, I come from a, a long line of like junkies let's just keep it real a long line of like criminals and crazy 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 family like life right if i can do this shit then so can you right the only difference between me and you is that you know it's, it's a belief system like do you believe that you have the ability to make this a month right or a day a week i mean this is this could be one deal for a lot of people um but do you believe that you can do this, right? Like that's it. I'm not. I'm not a genius. That's all I'm trying to tell you. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not educated. Like everything I've learned is just been because I've had a desire and I was very ambitious and I wanted to change my life. I didn't want to live around a bunch of junkies anymore. I didn't want to party anymore. I didn't want to keep being irresponsible anymore. I didn't want somebody else to own me, or to to write my schedule out and tell me what I'm allowed to do during these times and that times. Like, I just didn't want to live that life anymore. And so I was willing to do what it took because I believe that I could hey, have. You got to hold this one. Okay. Your call to action yep. is get them to. Yeah. Your call to action is get them I to. Uh, I didn't bring my wallet, mama. Remember you told me it's that. It's okay. Here, take mine. Wait, did I bring my wallet? And that's the other thing. You know, you can get credit. You got this. I don't think credit. I brought my wallet. Okay. I thought I brought it and left it on the fucking... Here, do you want me to get out and pump it? No, I got it, Mama. I thought I brought it and I thought I just, like, left so it anyway, on the roof. You just got to believe that Tell them to comment Profit you. House comment on your profit video. House. Comment Profit House. And then they can... Go they can... I got to get gas, ladies and gentlemen. I got to get some gas. Real quick. So just one second while I get some gas. What's up, Malloy? What's up, Malloy? Hey, it says, is this a debit card? No. Yes? No. No. It's not. Um, no. I don't want to use any rewards. Enter zip code. Five zip code? Four, six, two.
Okay. Profit House, Profit House. Just comment on my video, Profit House, if you want to learn all this shit from Fatima. If you don't want to learn, that's fine. Don't comment. But if you do, comment Profit House. Um, we'll get you the link to the course. We'll get you all set up. We'll get you all set up. It's fucking freezing cold. So, did you read... Let's read some of these. Yeah, but did you even see my fucking skills? I got fucking two phones I'm going live from at the same amazing. time. This see my fucking Katima Facebook live John skills? Go on their road trip and unload Look at this guy. You need, to, you need to unfriend this guy, though. He's yeah. just a little fucking hating cunt, Ooh. man. His name's... What's his name? He said that you're yeah, gonna leave be. Him. Leave he, him. he said you're gonna be on the next episode of American Greed because apparently you're greedy because well, that's, listen, this is you a got mindset. more money than this him. Is a, this is a mindset. He a broke ass we, fucking we, person. But but here here we can either delete him or we can teach him, right? Because Some I people used to think that when I was broke, Some people I are just that. unteachable. Though. I felt so entitled to other people's shit. I still have siblings. I'm not gonna mention any names because I have like ten of them, right? My mom was busy. But I have one brother in particular who feels entitled to my shit, and he don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't know any better, and I remember that. But it's like, I don't have to pay you back. You can afford to go get, you know, your daughter a computer. Like, who says that? You're a grown man now. You're not entitled to my money. While I would love to help you, and I don't mind helping you when you're down, but you don't get to say that. No. So, and his perception is I'm greedy and all this, but. I didn't get to where I was because someone handed me shit. If I was never handed anything, and that made me hungrier. So, it's just a okay, mindset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop, 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 oh, nigga. What are you oh, doing? Oh, are you not done? No, nah, motherfucker. <laughs> so, guys, we're about to doing? blow up. Seriously, with fucking all this, this girl gas. Insane, all this, man. We're about to blow this up at the gas crazy. station. You're just settled down. I'm still pumping gas and shit. You driving away? Like, what the yeah, fuck are you doing? Yeah, I normally don't get back in the car until my gas is It's is freezing done, cold out there. I'm not standing out there. It's fucking cold. Let's see Crazy. here. What happened? Uh, John's got the gas tank in my car, and I just about took off. So don't do that shit again. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's so see. if you guys, you guys want to learn from Fatima, she got a course. She's gonna teach you all of this shit. She's gonna teach you exactly what she does and how you can do it and how you can actually get fucking paid and shit. All right. All you gotta do is comment Profit House on this video, and then once you do that, um, someone is gonna come back in and get reach out to you, get you all the information. Um, hey. Hey, Facebook. <laughs> what are they going to get? What are they going to get? I don't know what you're fucking... Oh, yeah. This is what you're going to get right here. You're going to get this. You're going to get the keys to the I'll kingdom on how to make all this. It's all real money. Um, we would have more. Like, literally, we would have more money for you guys, but the banks don't have any extra money for us. Like, we got all their money. They don't have any more money. So they don't have any more fucking money for us. Um, so we can't get any more money. They even gave us all these stupid ass 20s and we didn't want these stupid ass 20s All right, so this is what you're gonna learn in the profit house You're gonna learn how to make money just like this real fucking money just like that You're gonna learn how to make money just like that You're gonna learn how to make so much money that when you go to the bank They're gonna get mad at you because it takes them so much fucking time We spent an hour at the last bank just waiting them for them to cash our money and they didn't and they didn't fucking have enough of it. Literally, they didn't have enough of it. They had to give us, they okay, returned so us, <laughs> they returned us back a check. They literally gave us a check back. And where did that, where did that check go? Uh, you just put it up there. They gave us a check back. All right, I think we're done here. Okay, guys, so. I think we're done here. So just comment Profit House, all right? There's a $497 cost for the course. If you don't have $497, then you can't take the course. Sorry about that, because that is the actual cost of the course. Uh, so just if you're interested in learning how to do this, just comment Profit House below, and we'll get you all taken care of. We're going to come back later. Yeah. Thanks for... Um coming on yeah we'll come back later and make some more content allowing us to document this so that we could actually have some content to run in our ads when targeting people that... and we're gonna get some more content we're yeah. gonna make lots we're gonna make lots more content don't worry we still got paychecks we still got fucking that one paycheck we've been to four banks now to cash that paycheck and it's still we still got part of the well, paycheck <laughs> and still got 15k on it that they don't have the money for and we got lots of other fucking paychecks that we can't even begin to go cash so like literally if we were to go cash all these paychecks, we'd go to every bank in the state of fucking Indiana, probably. And every we're single one. Running out of gas. Yeah, so literally. We're just gonna go fucking, home right now. It would cost us literally. It would probably cost us five thousand dollars just to drive around to all these banks to get our fucking money. <laughs> fucking cunts. So we're just gonna go drive. Uh, we're gonna go home right now, and 
We're actually map some of this out. John's building my funnel for me. He's building my chat bot, which I'm really, really grateful for. Doing all and, of it. Yeah, he's doing all the digital work. That's for how me. I help my people though. I like to see my people win, so that's how I that's how I help them. And in my coaching program, look, in my coaching program, I'm sitting in your fucking vehicle with you. I'm sleeping in your fucking basement. Wearing I'm there pants. literally wearing your sweatpants. I'm there 24 <laughs> seven actually helping you. And your guru's coaching program, you get pre-recorded videos. Oh, and he invites you to his mansion for a fucking mastermind. Me, I come to your house. Literally, I fly to your house. I travel around the fucking states with you. I wear your fucking clothes. I immerse myself in everything that you're trying to do to try to actually help you succeed and help you fucking win. Because again, at the end of the day, I also don't need your money. Like, I don't need her money. I don't need her fucking money at all. I'm fucking just fine without her fucking money. Oh, hey. Hey, you cute, you good looking guy. I don't need her fucking money. I'm just totally fine without her money. So if I'm going to take her money and if I'm going to actually work with her, then I want her to win. All right? And I'm sorry, but you don't win by watching pre-recorded videos most of the time. That's usually not how you fucking win. Anyways, I'm done. We got our content. You guys know what to do. If you guys are interested, you comment Profit, profit House right on this video. If you guys are interested, we'll get you all hooked up. Um, until then, uh, I'm going to come back to Facebook a little bit later. Oh, yeah. You want to see all this money? That's what we're going to teach you how to do. I can't even fit all the money in my hand. All right? So we're going to make some more content with this. Hopefully, you guys don't get mad that we're How flashing all this have, money around. How long do they have? Well, they said we're greedy. Yeah, they said we're greedy because we got too much money. Fuck you guys that said that. You guys are dicks. Whoever said that? <laughs> I give so much. I, I give so much of my time and I give so much of my money to other fucking people. You guys see what I wear? I'm so fucking greedy, right? I'm in fucking. And me. I'm in sweat clothes. Here, just haters. Anyways, I'm gonna go smoke my cigarette. So, see you guys later. Facebook. We'll come back later. Make some more content for you. Don't forget to comment right, from guys. Profit Thank House on this video comment if you guys Profit are House interested we'll, in Fatima's we'll training, all right? In. We'll get you all set up. And I'll show you everything that I'm doing, guys. Give you a shot to make some money with me.